what it is everybody it is your boy g20 welcome back to our series simulation series it is our second to last stream as far as prediction streams goes of the year and it's our second attempt at this because my my stream exploded on the, on the first try i don't know what happened everything crashed but we're back new york rangers tampa bay lightning at least we didn't get any progress done before the stream died, so that's always a good thing. So I apologize for that. But if you are watching the VOD, then you won't know this happened, because guess what? The other stream, private as hell. It lasted under three minutes, so it's it's nice and private now. You ain't never going to see that thing again. <laughs> and here we are, baby. The Eastern Conference Finals. New York Rangers versus Tampa Bay Lightning. Like I said, huge goaltending matchup. It is going to be a great one. Okay, now, as of course is tradition, I have to ready up some things. And everybody that was in the chat previously is back in the chat. I appreciate you all for uh, sticking around through all of that. Maddie adding himself to the chat. I appreciate that as, as always. So yes, welcome back. Welcome back. We are good. We are good. Let's get game one underway here. Tampa Bay Lightning, New York Rangers. It is going to be fantabulous. We are going to go ahead and do as per usual. All-star full sim. We're going to let the computer fight it out. Who does EA Sports believe to be the Eastern Conference champions? Okay. If, it would be great if nothing crashed this time. I think we're I think we're looking good here. The game loaded. Everything's fine. And here we are. Game number one at Madison Square Garden. Appreciate every single one of you for tuning in, man. And uh, you know what? If you want to help your boy out, likes early in the stream do help the stream perform. So if uh, if you want to just do, do a good gesture, do a good deed today, maybe help your boy out and hit the like button, all right? We can get some people up in here. But first possession of the game goes to the Rangers. And they're going to do jack with it. And they're going to do absolutely nothing. But it's fine. It's perfectly fine because uh, they're going to, on the four check, get the puck back. And screw the pooch. Okay. That is an offside call. Interesting uh, interesting way to start the game for sure. Pog correct lines. I have the latest roster update. I did not do anything to edit the latest roster update. So if it's wrong, then blame EA Sports. Go ahead for that. This series is the battle of Ryan McDonough. Yeah, there's a couple of players that have been uh, on each side of this. Um, not not as many anymore because some of them moved on. What's up, Legend? How you doing? But there used to be like a ton of people on the Lightning that were former Rangers. Mm. Great start. Hey, fun fact. Fun fact, the first time I set up this Eastern Conference Finals for the stream, I actually put Tampa Bay at home because I just assumed that Tampa was the home team, but that couldn't be further from the truth. I, I was just about to, to, to start the settings for my live stream, and I was like, hey, wait a minute. The Rangers have home ice in this series, not the freaking Bolts. So we had to reset that. So it's been a struggle starting the stream, man. It, it's been a struggle. I had to set up the playoff mode twice. Then we started the stream. The stream exploded. It's been uh, it's been a rough road, but we here, okay? We, we stay hungry. We devour. It's all about drive. It's all about power, baby. And we just get through it. That's a muffin. Absolute muffin. You're going to need better shots than that to beat Igor Shesterkin. You feel me? That man is a huge performer or has been a huge performer for the New York Rangers. The, oh, IRL predictions. I think Tampa's got it in six, I think. I, I The Rangers have had a fantastic run, but I feel like they are just overmatched, man. Tampa is so good. It's They are so good, and they are so clutch. It's unbelievable, especially Vassy. Like, come on. Kid's insane. Look at that. Sla oh, that almost went in as the kid line. Almost getting a goal nice and early. But Andre Vasilevsky being the best goalie in the world. Uh, 
Uh, correct. Is fantasy draft where you draft players? Yes, I think so. Kevin Glush for my roller team. Oh, nice, dude. That's dope. That's dope. Congrats on that. Congratulations. I Yeah, IRL prediction. Like I said, I think the Tampa Bay Lightning got this in six games. But Alexi Lafreniere actually decided to shoot the puck this time. His, uh, his face scan is not that bad. It's actually pretty decent. And uh, he's going to put the Rangers up one as the kid line gets us going here in the Eastern Conference Finals at home. You love to see it. But that's turned over. And that is a, an absolutely garbage shot. Vasilevsky versus, Shister versus Shisterkin. Jesus, I died right there. Good Russian goalie duel. Oh, yeah, it's going to be, bro. Loki, like the Western Conference is going to be a carnival. Like that finals is going to be an absolute carnival because neither goalie can make a save. Neither defense is that great at defending. So it's going to be a carnival the, the entire time. But this this series has a chance of, of having like 23 goals in total between both teams. Like these, these two goaltenders have god mode ability and they have steal a game ability. And we'll see we'll see which one of them stands tall. Might go to the game tonight. Hey, you better make your mind up soon, man. That shit starts at 8. If you're still undecided, better hurry up and decide. You really studied all the lines. Actually, if uh, if they're really accurate, it's because the EA Sports roster update isn't that bad. Because that's what I had. I legitimately didn't touch anything. Usually I, I go to daily face-off and I do all the lines and stuff, but I just, um, not today. I didn't have time to do all that, so I just plugged the game in, loaded the, the latest roster update, and here we are. Western Conference Finals is going to be East, er, 80s style hockey. Yeah, it's it's been, uh, that game one was nuts. It was nuts. I really thought the Oilers were going to come all the way back, tie it 7-7. That was, that was amazing. If the Oilers can just hold on to the fucking puck and stop turning it over every two seconds, they're, they're going to be fine in this series. But they gave, they gave Colorado so many freebies. It's unbelievable. They just kept turning the puck over. They, they looked like teal out there. The entire team looked like teals. And Dreisaitl was absolutely dreadful last night. Dreadful. I know he got an assist, whatever, but he he was he was awful. Thoughts on the Makar call? I don't know why people are so upset. That, that shit was clearly onside. He they tagged up, they tagged up before he touched the puck. Like there's no debate there. It's onside. This is why I think we should uh, they should release the conversation between the ref and the war room in Toronto I, I feel like they should release that for every every goal review that way fans can understand what the referees were looking at and what the conversation was and why the call was the way that it was because that was clearly a good goal best player this season uh, I mean pro probably Connor Edmonton has a goaltender. They need a good goaltender. Ah, uh, see, the thing is, Mike Smith has the ability to be a good goaltender, though. That's the, that's the thing with that. So I, I don't know. Oh God, Kucherov, going off the iron. He's just coming in and almost having the tying goal here as the second period of game one starts. One nothing. The Rangers are up. Shesterkin more saves. I think Mott is better than Blair anyway. I think they're both pretty damn good players. Like, especially as bottom six players. Like, they are. They, I really like both of them. That's your favorite team? The Oilers, bro. I'm new. I just subscribed. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the, the subscribe. Glad you enjoyed the content. Speaking of which, if you guys are new, 
and you want to see more of this and you want to see hear more of my fantastic voice and you want to see us simulate the Stanley Cup Finals, then hit your boy up with a subscribe, baby. It's free. You get notified. You get tons of content. I mean, come on. It ain't no reason to not to. You know? We're on that road to 20K, man. I, I am trying to hit that thing so hard. So hard. We're at 17,200 and something right now. It's been pretty damn good, man. Yo, my boy Thompson was good, bro. What's good? Welcome to another stream. Nice to see some mods get in here. How we doing today, G? I'm doing great, man. I had a good workout earlier today, which is always uh, always fun. As soon as you get over that wave of, of being tired because you just killed yourself at the gym, it's it's actually it gives you more energy for the rest of the day. So we're 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 feeling good right now. How is you? I was, sh please shoot that. Oh, my God. That was... Why? Why was that such a muffin? There's a good shot. And Vasilevsky's going to love it. Batman won't do that because they'll be exposed for being biased against the camp. Nah, I think... I think... Uh, they won't do that because then they could be held accountable. Batman's a lawyer. So any anything that removes accountability from the the league is uh, what he wants that's why a concussion protocol is the way it is it's not to protect anyone it's to remove the it's to remove the blame from the league i blame the teams mike smith played for <laughs> the, uh, the oilers were garbage uh, with with the puck last night or yeah last night they were terrible like they they just kept on turning the puck over. Sure, you'd like Mike to to have a few of those goals, especially that Makar one. I know it's a dart, but fuck, man, you got to stop that. That's a clean shot. That's a clean, clean shot. You have to stop that. And it's just like you need an occasional save. You know the Oilers got you six goals, but at the same time they just kept turning the puck over so often. That it makes it hard to play defense. By the way, the Zach Hyman goal, you are not going to see Josh Manson blow his defensive coverage like that that often. That might be the only time he has a defensive play that brutal. Manson looked terrible on the Hyman goal. When you get freebies like that, you have to take advantage of them. And the Oilers just couldn't do it. Who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup? Oh, man, I think it's going to be Tampa. I think Tampa's winning it again. They've looked so unbelievably good. Like, Toronto fought tooth and nail, and they actually played at their full-ass potential. And Tampa beat them in seven, and then they just routed the Panthers. I think it's a wrap, bro. I don't think... Like, Colorado might give them a series, but I, I think Tampa's... Tampa's... It's their cup to lose. How's it going today? Thank you, Gary. Thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. It's going well, man. Uh, it's going well. Had a good workout earlier. Hope you're doing well as, uh, as well. Manson made a bad pinch on a Kane goal, too. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's fair. But I rather... I feel like a, a bad pinch is a little bit more excusable than standing next to Zach Hyman and not even bothering to try to tie him up, you know? <laughs> like, when I saw the replay, I was like, who is that? And I saw 42, and I was like, really? Josh Manson just let Zach Hyman live right there on the goal line. That is not something I expect out of, out, out of him. They did, so it does. Everyone gets to keep laughing at it. Like, yeah, well, I I feel like it's it's cheap laughs, right? Like, it's cheap laughs. The people are always going to be there, but I feel like the least legitimately took a step this year, and they're, they're like, legit contenders. They just faced Tampa in the first fucking round. Like, that's unfortunate. Ding Nogs, thank you so much for the two euros, my brother. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it, man. I will. I absolutely will. Oh, what a clear one-timer. Jeez, Louise, that is a brutal defensive play. 
and Artemi Panarin gets an absolute freebie. I don't care what kind of goalie you have in there. You give Panarin a one-timer from there, he's got a pretty good chance of going in, and the Rangers are up to zip on the back-to-back -back champs. It's a pretty damn good start for the Blue Shirts here in game one. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought they were going to get a third one real quick, but no, sir. Got a few. Oh, you got the Rangers at plus 1,600. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. Don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't know hype in the chat. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. At second look, Makar was on side. It's a game of inches. See, that's the thing. When I first looked at the replay, all I looked at was the zone entry, and I was like, that's miles offside. That's coming back for sure. Like, that's not even close. And then they counted the goal, and I was like, excuse me? Like, what? That is clearly offside. And then, and then the intermission happened like a minute and a half later or whatever. So I went back, and I watched it slowly. And then Friedman tweeted what the... the the official ruling on the goal was and then I looked at it and I was like son of a bitch they did tag up before he touched it that is that is either the luckiest play of Makar's career or one of the smartest plays I've ever seen to not touch the puck until until Buddy was out of the zone Th th um, 13 who's 13 Nachushkin until Nachushkin was out of the zone that is that was so good I hope I hope he meant to do that. And it's Kale McCarr, so I wouldn't even be surprised if he did mean to do that. It's the first game. Yes, sir. It is indeed the first game. You're joining in nice and early, and we will, even if this goes seven, I'm going to stay up here. Nice save, Shesty. I'm going to stay up here, and I'm going to watch the whole damn series with y'all. We're going to find out what's going to happen here. We are, we're on five-minute periods, so it shouldn't take an eternity. We'll still uh, get a winner here. We'll get a decided winner. And, yep, that did leave the zone. His whole body was offside before Makar came in. Yeah, exactly. But then Makar didn't touch the puck. And then Nachushkin tagged up. And Makar was still not fully across the blue line. That's a good goal. I was, I was watching the replay, and I was like, damn, I really want to be mad at the call because I'm an Oilers fan. But I can't. Like, that's the correct call. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? What's the stat so far on how accurate the Sims have been? Yo, it's been really good. I don't... I should keep track of the stats, but, like, we are well over 50%. We might be in the 70% success rate at picking the right win winner. Like, it's been... It's been crazy. It's... It's it's scary how accurate it's been. Um, I know both Tampa series, the game picked correctly. Uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning to go ahead and win. The first round series, Rangers versus Pittsburgh, it did have a 3-1 series comeback but in reverse and the penguins ended up winning that in the simulation so they got that wrong but it went seven so they, they didn't get it entirely wrong you know um they picked colorado to move on from edmonton oh that's a nice passing play very nice passing play and that's a goal nick fall nick fall Thanks for agreeing, G. You've been gaining a subscriber. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Much love, G. Have a good stream. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You have a great rest of your day as well, man. Let's go, Bolts, I guess. Ah, oh, nah. I, I, think that, I think the Bolts are winning the series, but I, I'm fully cheering for the Rangers. I had the Rangers in my bracket based on the fact that I thought Toronto would beat Tampa in the first round. So I had Toronto meeting the Rangers in his, uh, in the conference finals. Which I fully believe if Toronto wins game six or game seven against Tampa, they, they walk all over Florida like the, like the Bolts did. Maybe not in four, but in, in five games probably. Florida looked rough in that second round. 
So I feel like that wasn't that wrong. I, and then I had the Rangers going to the Stanley Cup Finals because I feel like they would beat the Leafs. Just be, just based on how heavy they are and, and Igor being Igor. So I had my finals for my bracket was Colorado versus the Rangers. So that's still alive. That is still alive and well. And I had, um, I think I had, yeah, I had the Rangers winning the cup in my bracket. I don't know why. I just figured, fuck it. At this point, they're on such a, a heater of a run and Shesterkin's probably balling. So I was like, I'll pick the Rangers. Screw it. So if I end up being right, uh, you can you can be sure that I'll scream at it. Scream from the rooftops that I was correct. <laughs> oh, no. Not a bot. That is terrible. All right, and he's gone. Seriously, these, these bots are just a waste of fucking time. <laughs> Thank you, mods, for helping out with those. Appreciate you. Camp at one fair and square. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely they did. There's absolutely nothing taken away from uh, Tampa's W's. Not on this stream. You will not find me hate on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Whoever wins the first game wins the series. I feel like that's not that hard of a take considering they're already 25% of the way there. But I don't know. Ryan Reese scores a hat trick. Well, that'll be the day, bro. That'll be the freaking day. I'm here for it, though. Cheering for the Rangers, so I'm here for it, you know? Tampa in one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Imagine the Rangers just forfeit in the, in the next three games. That'd be some bullshit. I wonder if a team's ever forfeited a playoff game in the NHL. Didn't the Leafs beat Tampa in game one? Oh, yeah, the Leafs demolished Tampa. Tampa did not show up for the first game against the Leafs. They were awful. They were garbage. So, yeah, I agree. Game one doesn't necessarily mean you have a winner. Paul Welch was good. Welcome to the stream, brother. Thanks for popping in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Same to Mr. Wright, who also... Showed up. What up, Sean? My boy Deacon. Mm. Imagine Oilers versus Rangers in the Stanley Cup Finals. Yo, it's it would be the 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 Gretzky Cup, the Wayne Gretzky Cup. I'm here for it. Two euros for the Reeves Hattie. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Ding. Thank you for the dono. Oh, no, I farmed it. I absolutely farmed it. All in the chat. Here we are. Here we are. We're back. We're back. <laughs> I put the chat off my screen for a second. Oh, the Bolts are trying to tie this game here. I don't know if they will. The Rangers are looking pretty damn decent here in this third period. But Tampa's trying. They're going to run out of time. Huge W for the New York Rangers. This is game one. They now have a one to nothing series lead. Thanks for a good performance here at Madison Square Garden. You'd love to see it. Anyone know if Point's playing tonight? I would assume that he is, but I'm not sure. I don't have, like, intel on it. Blair's injured. They're going to have Mott in for Blair. Oh, fair enough. Always have a nice rest of your day. Hey, thank you, Dink, man. Thank you once again for the donos. Appreciate you coming through. I'm going to see you next time, brother.
Holy smokes, there are uh, there are a lot of those today, aren't there, chat? My lord. We ban in nose, though. We ban in nose. All right. Game number two of the Eastern Conference Finals. Are y'all ready? Is you ready? Are you ready? Is you ready? I'm still in your walls. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Like a, like a good coat of paint, you know? Can always be counted on. I feel like Home Ice fan has been key in these playoffs in this year. Yeah. Yeah, man. He has been. Definitely has been. You know, they, they, they played two years without home fans. So I had a feeling Home Ice was going to be pretty huge. I hope the Rangers can win. Same, bro. Same. So who are we cheering for, chat? I need I need to know where the chat stands. Are are we are we cheering for Tampa to win this thing? Or are we cheering for uh, Shesterkin and the boys in blue to win this thing? I need I need to know where my chat stands on that. Oh, we almost had an early goal from Tampa. Game two, they want to tie this series up. Bolts, Rangers, Tampa, Tampa. Let's go, Rangers. Let's sir, Tampa. Okay, it seems pretty um pretty split down the middle. Okay, chat. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All the neutrals seem to have have split between those two teams. So that's cool, man. There's not like an overwhelming favor, or at least there isn't in the in the chat. So I like that. Nice uh, nice save by Shesterkin. It was a muffin, but we'll give him credit anyway. Like a boss, what's good, bro? Welcome to the, the stream. My goodness, I can't even talk. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. The Igor chance as well. Let's go, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Igor, my dog. He's my boy. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes Strom. Couldn't be good on the Oilers, could you, Strom? Really traded you for nothing. God damn it. What a disaster that Jordan Everly trade turned out to be for the Oilers. My goodness. I, I miss Ebbs so much on the Oilers. Like, even though they're doing really well right now and, and we're in the conference finals, like, Ebbs would be fantastic on that team. Nice shot. Redman giving it to his uh, his new lineman, apparently, Andrew Kopp. And he's going to get... They don't have Kopp's dark visor? What are we doing, EA? the hell are we doing? You don't give this man a smoke visor ASAP, bro. The Bolts are good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The Bolts are awesome. They're a fantastic team. Oilers in five. <laughs> Yo, that game one was eerily similar to game one against the Flames, man. I'm just saying. Absolute carnival of offense, and the Oilers lost 9-6 to six game one against the Flames because they couldn't stop a beach ball. And they, they lost 8-6 to six game one against the, the Avalanche. So basically, what I'm saying is we're, we're practically just going to win the next four games, guaranteed, and, and, and move on. What the hell? How do you even get a shot from there? Who knows? Patrick Maroon. He is going to tie the game for the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're looking to tie the series here in game two. And Patty Maroon with a good old drive to the net and get yourself a bucket goal. Love to see it. Working in tight as he does. That's such a dumb goal. That's that's the type of goal that goes in for Patty Maroon, though. Dumbass goals that just go in because he knows where the hell to be. And Barclay Goodrow. Sort of a uh, Patrick Maroon light, I guess, on the Rangers. He's going to go to the penalty box and afford Tampa the chance to take the lead here with a pretty sizable power play opportunity. 
Hey, what up, Kyle? Welcome to the stream, bro. Appreciate you stopping by. I saw your text, by the way, so thanks for letting me know. Good row, X Bolt. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. One back to back cups with the, the Tampa Bay Lightning. And, uh. Looking. Looking to be the difference maker against them now. Four years in a row winning the cup. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love that. I love that kind of stuff. You ever watch a hockey game and cried your eyes out? Uh, I don't know if I'd say like cried my eyes out like that, but uh, when uh, when Ryan Smith played his last game in Edmonton, um, I, I wasn't crying, you know. But like I got I got like an eyelash got stuck in my eye like towards the end of the game, so like I wasn't crying, but you know, I I, I had an eyelash in my eyes, so this, that happens. That was that just happened to be Ryan Smith's last game, you know. So, oh my God, back-to-back -back goals in like negative six seconds for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Braden Point, and all of a sudden Tampa controls the hell out of game two here. What a save! Yeah, that's uh, that, that's two uh, very quick goals here. You probably want to save on at least one of those. But to be honest, that's that Barkley Goodrow penalty coming back to bite the Rangers in the ass there. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Bolts have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to Tampa wants it more, I think. Oh, I think that's cap. I think both teams want it about as bad as uh, as you can want it. Tampa looking for that three-peat, you know. We haven't seen that in decades, like literally decades. And the Rangers just looking, a lot of guys are looking for their first. I feel like both of them want it real bad. Real bad. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. That was a good chance, but Shesterkin's going to pillow that to the side. And uh, finds a way to get it back in the zone. Now the uh, lightning. Oh, that's a good chance. Very nice save. Igor Shesterkin keeping the Rangers in it there. He needed to make that save with a 3-1 deficit. You don't want to make it 4-1 against the lightning. They can absolutely shut you to hell down when it's time to shut the game down. Might play game two. Yeah. We shall see. We shall see. You always want the best players to be playing. Yo, Barclay, Barclay, my dog. I'm going to need you not to take penalties. He's got the puck back now. Probably feeling terrible about himself. So he dumps the puck in expeditiously and goes to the bench. All teams want it bad. Yeah, that's that's my, that's pretty much my feeling on that. Maybe not during the bubble. Like, some teams just didn't want it during the bubble. But every year other than that. Oh, Barclay, you bast you big bastard. You're going back to the box. More like box clay, Goodrow. God damn. Are you serious? You got the same animation too. Big goofy. Big goofy. And now you're going to give Tampa Bay another, po or another power play. Sheesh. Of course they score immediately. Wow. Nick Paul. That's that's 4-1 Tampa early in game 2. Man, they came into this game down one nothing in the series and they said absolutely the fuck not. We are tying this game. And the streak will continue for Tampa. They just don't lose back-to-back -back playoff games. That just doesn't happen. Wow. 4-1 first period. If y'all don't scratch the shit out of Barkley Goudreau or, or bench him. <laughs> Maybe he's frustrated the Bulls traded him. So why is he helping them, though? <laughs> why is he helping them?
Hmm. Two whole shots for the Rangers that period. Not a good start at all. I think the Avs have the best chance of taking down Tampa. Same. Same. And even then, I don't even like their chances that much. They don't have the goalie, and their defense can't really defend like that. They have some elite puck movers, Colorado does, with Byram and Makar. But I don't know, man. They're, they're defensive defensemen? Eh. Like, Taves is, is, Taves is good. Manson's good. But I, I just don't feel like they're that shutdown able team. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a team-wide thing and not necessarily, like, defensive personnel. But I, I just... I don't see Colorado shutting teams down that often, you know? That's just that's just how I see it. Anyone know how long Kemper's out? I would love to know. Uh, because uh, Francis did not look good last night. Well, no goalie looked good last night, but, uh, you know, I'm saying. Canada needs to be the fly in the finals again. I agree, bro. Especially now that the Oilers are the only Canadian team left standing. I definitely agree with that one. We need the Oilers in the finals, baby. We need that. Tampa Bay is a complete team. No weaknesses. Exactly, bro. They literally have everything. Fantastic offense. Stupid good defense. And the best goalie in the world. Like, man. They've done such a great job building that roster. Beautiful. Beautiful. They are like the model in the cap era. They, they are the best assembled roster in the cap era. Even the Hawks, right? Like, the Hawks had a couple of cup runs, and they were very good. The Hawks weren't a perfect team. Like, they, they, they relied heavy on their top defensemen. They, they were never the deepest team. And, man, whenever they had a deep team, they had to, they had to trade half their guys, you know? Like Bufflin, and there was somebody else that was big on, on that that um, first cup team that left. And I mean, like for Christ's sake, they won the cup with who was Auntie Niemi? Like, come on, that's not a that's not a great goaltender there. Far from the best goalie in the world, you know. Sorry, had to take care of my chat for a second. And I'm back. Please put this series score. Yeah, I would love for the series score to be at the uh, at the bottom of the screen. That would be fantastic. It's not that I don't want to answer people that ask. It's just that if I say it every two seconds, for every person that comes into the stream... It's going to get really fucking annoying for anyone that sticks around for more than five minutes. <laughs> you feel me? So I can't, I'm not like ignoring because I don't want to answer, but I like, we got to, at some point the experience of everyone has to be kept in mind. Oh my God. I thought that was going in huge. Shesty, Shesty, big dog. I'm going to need you not to turn it over. I, I'm I'm a really need you not to give it right back to Tampa Bay, especially when you're down four one right now. Okay, there we go. That's a good save. I don't get why it was still a message after I hid the bot. Oh shit! You can hide people from the channel too. I didn't know mods could hide people. I thought all all you could do was delete messages. That's actually kind of clutch. I did not know you could do that. Hmm. 
You think EA will ever get the rights to put Bobby or Phil Esposito? That's, who knows? I, I don't know. I, it's not a big deal to me, honestly. Like, how many times do, do I use the Legends teams? Like, once a year? Maybe. Maybe. It's just not worth it. It's not worth your time, or, or my time, at least personally speaking, with my own opinion. It's just not worth my time to play with Legends when it's there's so many people missing. You know? It just ain't worth it for me. Go blots. <laughs> Ryan Reeves, we need your hat trick, bud. Oh, he cuts in. Ryan Reeves, and he's gloved. Oh, man. Vasilevsky robbing us. I don't see Tampa sweeping New York. I mean, I don't think so either. But they looked really fucking good against the Panthers. <laughs> so you never know. Ryan Reeves, our savior. He's going to make a pass back to the point. And that shot goes wide. Oh, man. It's a fight for it. Rangers. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the bottom six for the Rangers. Getting some pressure on. Love to see it. Put new guys against old guys. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You want 120 to, or uh, 120, oh my god, 12 nothing and got the gold medal. That's pretty, that is uh, one hell of a performance, man. Good job. Good job. School time with Vassy. Yo, Vassy, uh, Vassy's a bad motherfucker. Chesty's one heck of a goalie. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Back-to-back -back con smites for Vassy. That would be pretty cool. I am here for that. Hi right from Alberta, Canada. Guess you know I'm cheering for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll see you later, Paul. You have a good rest of your day. I guarantee the Oilers are going to win the Cup this year. Woo, that is a take there, chat. That is a take. I definitely want six more games of Colorado. Yo, I want all of that. I, I am here for all of that. Colorado Edmonton. G give me all the hockey I can get. I'd say give us like triple overtime games, but we both know it, it, it ain't. No. No. With those two teams, it, over they, it's not going to go past one overtime. I'd be shocked if we ever went to double overtime with those two teams. You have any social media besides Twitter? No, not really. Not really. Just Twitter, Twitch, and that's about it. But end of the second period of game two here. Tampa Bay looking to tie the series at one, and they have done a fantastic job to this point. 4-1 lead as they head in to the third period of play. And the Rangers needing a huge comeback here at home. If they're going to take a 2-0 series lead. Nice nice chance early, but Vasilevsky's going to stuff that nice and tight. I live in Edmonton. There's no way the Oilers are going to win the Cup. Maybe the Finals, but not the Cup. Ah, never know. You never, ever know, but I don't think it's likely either. But I wouldn't say never. Playoffs are weird. Hockey's weird. Hey, Minnesota Wild, what is good? Sorry I missed the last stream. It's all good, brother. It's all good. You are fine. Oilers are abs in game two. Uh, I got to go with my boys. I, I got to go with my boys. I think the Oilers are going to are gonna come back and get it done. Like I said, man. The Oilers can beat the Avalanche. They just have to stop turning the puck over. Like, that was a disgraceful display of, uh, of puck possession last night from the Oilers. 
And uh, if they can just hold on to that thing and, and not give it away 79% of the time, I think uh, I think they'll be in good shape. How accurate has the Sims been versus reality? It's been uh, scary how accurate it's been. Way more correct predictions than incorrect predictions as far as the team, the teams being picked to win are concerned. It, it hasn't always gotten the right amount of gains, but it always seems to pick the correct team except for a few exceptions. Will Darcy Kemper come back in the series? I actually don't know. I I have no idea. I, I would um I would think so. It didn't look that bad. Like he pulled the hell out of something though, so maybe. Actually, yeah, no, nah, maybe he might not be back. Or he might miss like a week and, and be back later in the series, but I don't know, man. Oh Heedle! Yo, Heedle, I'm gonna need you to chase that puck, man. That deke was looking gross, but he's going to get the puck back. What a feed, but Vasilevsky moving across to the other post. Making a beautiful save. Keeping the Bolts up by three here in game two. What a beautiful display of goaltending, and that is pretty much GG's. 5-1 Tampa Bay as the Ranger defense has a rough time here. And Tampa's going to tie the series at one. This is pretty much GG's. I don't think the Rangers are coming back now. We simulate the 2022-23 season after the... Oh, hell no. I'm not doing that. I ain't doing that. We don't know what's going to happen in the summer. I feel like it'd be pointless. Like, that, seri that, that simulation would be out of date, like, immediately. So I don't think uh, that would be worth it. Bolts knock the rust off now? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I think it's... Uh, oh, 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 hold on. Might, might be a chance. And a big no. Big no. Huge no. Sorry, man. I don't even know what you're apologizing for, brother. So it, it must not have been that bad. But oh, what a one timer! That's that's padded away, but that's a good, uh, good offensive play by the Lightning. I feel like the I feel like the Rangers are pretty much done with this game. Like they they are check, checked out of this one. I think this happens in real life. Oh yeah, absolutely. The um, the Bolts are gonna have at least one game where they get through Shesterkin and, and the Ranger defense. I feel. Unless Shesterkin goes complete god mode for the entire series, which I, he could, but I don't think so. I feel like Tampa's going to get at least one game where their offense just looks unstoppable. They're too good not to, right? At least that's how I look at it. This type of score. Oh, yeah, big time. Oh, wow. Did he get the third one, too? I don't know if that missed the net or Shesty got it with the pad, but that that was uh, that was a great stop if he got it with the pad. My goodness. You feel it tonight? I, I I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty damn good. Keep hoping for wild and lightning to meet in the vinyl, man. That would be that would be a series right there. How do you think the game is going to play out tonight? Well, I don't freaking know, man, but I feel like the Rangers are going to... Either the Rangers... I feel like we're going to get an early goal because the Rangers are either going to come out absolutely buzzing, you know, using home ice advantage and, and first game of the series being high, yada, 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 all of that, or, or Tampa is going to just come out and quiet the crowd right down like 47 seconds in. 
I don't I don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel like we're gonna get an early goal. And then everything's gonna calm the hell down from there. That's just how I feel. Oh please score that. Okay. Simulation doesn't seem to take into account the 10 days layoff. That, how? How so? They lost game one, brother. How is it not taking that into account? They lost game one. They didn't look pretty. They didn't look that good in game one. So there you go. Oh, nice feed. Wow. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. A bit late, but I mean, whatever. Are you going to watch the game tonight? Oh, of course. I've, absolutely, I'm watching the game tonight. Pizza and chicken wings again, G. Oh, man. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, but I kind of have a date tomorrow, so we're already going to have probably something. We're probably going to order something, so I don't want to order two nights in a row. You feel me? But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we have. It's either gonna be some pizza or some chicken. I might, I might, I might do some chicken. Just order some McDoubles, bro. I am not paying a delivery fee for some McDoubles. Ain't no fucking way. But that's gonna do it for game two. Tampa comes out. They tie the series at one. After they explode offensively here. Huge hit on that one. My goodness. Panarin taking a deep on that. And now the series, the series shifts to Tampa Bay for games three and four. It's going to be a huge one here. It's either going to be a 3-1 series for somebody. Or we're going to go back here at Madison Square Garden with a tie series. Let's go and figure it out. 27-22, the shots on goal. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We are on five-minute periods, so they're kind of short, but still enough that I feel gives the teams a chance to either have a good offensive game or a good defensive game. So there you go. Game number three at Amelie Arena. It is showtime, baby. Showtime, huge moment here. Pivotal game. Obviously, the odd number games are huge in the playoffs and this is certainly no exception this is going to be huge so here we are the start of game number three Tampa Bay with possession nice and early and they are going to turn it over to the Rangers, who proceed to do absolutely nothing with it. Igor Chance in the chat. I love to see it. And here we are, Victor, Victor Hedman. He's going to get this puck back, swing it on over to his defensive partner. Good little lateral play right there from the Lightning. And they're going to get out of their zone beautifully. Good feed up the ice to Steven Stamkos. But he is going to turn pucks over. Nothing much happening so far in game three. Both teams kind of playing a little bit passive. Kind of hoping to stop the other team from scoring more than trying to score their own, it seems like. But when you are both building from the net out, it's kind of what you expect a little bit. That's a good dump and play. And there you go. The first few shifts going by without much happening. And we'll see if uh, if that changes here. As Stammer goes around the boards. But Adam Fox stops it quickly. Moves it over to his defense partner who clears his lines. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a good play. And he's, he's going to get beaten. Beaten to the puck in that corner. And Tampa's out once again. Take 
Rangers can win this series if Kreider runs, Vassy. <laughs> oh, let's not go there. <laughs> Message got pinned. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I figured, uh, I figured since you took the time to have the series score in the chat, I figured I might as well post it or pin it. Will the rest be swallowing the whistles from here on out? I don't know. You never know. We will see tonight, I guess. But I feel like uh, with two teams like the Volts and the Rangers, we're gonna we're gonna see a few infractions because there's guys that can draw penalties pretty nicely on each side. Hmm, that's a pretty damn good stick lift, but it's not gonna go anywhere. If, if Kreider runs, Vasilevsky there might be a riot. <laughs> Oh man, it would be um, it would be quite a meltdown on the socials. Oh, the backhander, humongous blocker save. Andre Vasilevsky. Oh, go across. Ooh, that's a that's a decent pass, but they can't get the they can't get the finish there. It turned into a real chippy series. Oh, I think it's going to be a chippy series regardless. I think I think it's going to get um, pretty intense pretty quick. Both both teams can play um, that kind of hockey, so I feel like they are both going to. I think they should bring up AHL rest for the play. Why would we want worse rest for the playoffs? How does I don't. I don't know what the logic is there, but I would love to know. Oh, please. Oh, yes. It's my boy, Capo Caco. And we have a 1-0 Ranger lead in game three. Hell yeah. Battle of the goalies, indeed. It is going to be that kind of series. But Capo Caco. It's not quite Caco Tuesday, but he's still getting buckets. You feel me? Vassy sucked on that. What is Vassy supposed to do? That is, that is a pair of finely tuned Finnish hands in all alone on him. This is not a good spot to put your goalie in. John Cooper is pissed. Throwing shit on the bench. Giving iPads to everybody involved. Hey, I'm going to see you later, Gary. Thanks for coming out. I hope the rest of your day is wonderful, bro. Hope you enjoyed the stream. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, I would appreciate it if you could leave a like, but you don't have to. Oh, that's a brutal turnover, but a monstrous hit is going to stop that dead in its tracks. My goodness. And also, if you are new here, we are going to be simulating the Stanley Cup Finals. We also do other types of content. Not all of it is streams, but we do have some streams planned out perhaps for the summer, which is going to be fun, man. We're going to have a good time, so you want to make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 20,000, baby. Once we hit that thing, I uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for 20K, but I, I might do something cool. Who knows? I just like appreciate it, man. Hedman cleared the air. Hedman, Hedman eviscerated the air out of that man's lungs is what he did. And that's the first period of play. one nothing for the New York Rangers on the road. They score a goal on three. There were four. Five combined shots that period. I told you, man. Both teams were just trapping it the hell up. Brutal mistake. You leave Capo Caco open like that. It's a wrap. 
be a Pens fan at 20k? I, I don't think so, bro. I don't think it's I don't think that's happening, but I appreciate the suggestion. What do you think is going to happen to Bergeron? I I feel like he might play another year, but uh, CJ kind of said he might he might not. So I I feel like I, I don't know what to think. We're just going to have to wait and let him make his decision. My boy Ryan Lindgren though made this decision to shoot on that play. Turned out to be a pretty damn good one as the Rangers. Score an early, early goal in the second period of game three here. Series being tied. That was a huge one, and that was an even better save. Oh, two great saves by Igor Shesterkin. Here comes a third one. No, sir. Tampa Bay cuts the lead in half immediately. Andre Palat following his own rebound. Not the greatest defense right there. You got to put a body on this man. And Chesterkin can only stop him twice. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> it was so good in uh, when Evander Kane got that hat trick. Against the Flames, they, they played Sweet Caroline and Living on a Prayer back-to-back -back while they were picking up the hats. It was great. It was a great time. <laughs> Defense leaving goalies to fend for themselves. Yes, they seriously have. Are you sad Jason Spencer retired? Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bummed about it. Five points away from it. Like, come on. I wish the Leafs let him play another year. I don't understand why they're not, but fuck. How do we feel about the Oilers versus Av series? It's uh it's been pretty pretty good. And I feel like the Oilers have a legitimate chance to win still. They gotta clean up their puck possession. They gotta stop turning the goddamn puck over all the time. An occasional save would also be nice from one of our goaltenders. Actually, uh, actually, Koskinen was pretty damn good last night. But if Mike Smith can um, chill the fuck out and, and stop a puck, they're right in there. They're right in there. It was, it was also fun having a lead for 35 seconds. Shout out to Evander Crane. Getting the first goal of the series. It, it was really good. It was fun. Would have been nice to see Jason Spezza hit a thousand and retire. I thought that's what was going to happen. I thought Spezza was going to hit a thousand and then retire like the the next day following the Silver Stick or whatever the hell they do at a thousand points. That's a brutal giveaway at the blue line. And Tampa's coming in. That's a good hook back. This man's had the puck for uh, an uh, an hour out here, and they don't do anything with it. Look at that. Yachushi was offside. He was not offside. No, sir. I don't know how the refs called a good goal. Nachushkin tagged up like he left the zone. Making it not offside. And Makar didn't touch the puck until he did tag up. So it's just not offside. This is more fun than watching baseball. I appreciate it, man. Hey, Matty, my boy. With a dono, the dollar dono. Appreciate it. Appreciate it lots, my brother. Elliot Freeman explained the ruling on Twitter. Yeah, exactly, bro. I read that, and I was like, yo, word? Because I was focused on Nachushkin and the puck, right? I was like, oh, Nachushkin is miles ahead of this puck. So when I read Friedman's tweet, I immediately went back because it was intermission, right? So I just rewound the, the video all the way back to when they had it on slow-mo. And, yeah, Nachushkin clearly tags up before Makar touches the puck. So that's... uh. 
900 IQ play by McCarr not to touch that thing. That or he got extremely lucky, but either way, it wasn't offside. Gotta go see you. Sorry. Hey, that's all good, bro. That is all good. I appreciate you coming through. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream, and hopefully the rest of your day is fantabulous, as the kid line is uh, trying. Trying her hardest. Capo. Capo, go get this puck, my boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, big cross check. Oh, he got away with one. Come on. Drive to the front. Ah! I wanted the Rangers to get that third goal, not going to lie. I am cheering for the Rangers in this series. Even video hockey is better. You know, baseball is um, is cool to watch, like at a at a sports bar or with friends or something. I am not sitting down to watch a baseball game by myself. That is not happening. That is super not happening. I would rather I would rather watch a bad movie. At least a bad movie, you can watch it as a comedy and just laugh at it. You know. Baseball is just uh, it's very mid to me. Maddie coming in with the two dollar don't know best YouTuber ever. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Who, in your opinion, deserves the cup this year? Why? I don't think there's a. I don't think that's a thing. I think whoever deserves the cup is whoever goes out and wins it. However, uh, if we're talking about like sentimental value, I um, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I guess the Avalanche in a way, because they've they've been. They've been so good for so long, and they just they just need to get over the hump. So I guess the Avs, but honestly, I don't I don't feel that way about any team because I feel like whoever goes and wins that thing is who deserves it. You know. Oilers versus Rangers. That would be a fun Stanley Cup Finals. I would be here for it. Nice shot. And Tampa Bay ties game three. Pierre Edouard Belmard. Huge shot. And we have a tie game, folks. Still bummed the Canes lost, but we're progressing each year. Yo, y'all got to beat a real team. Y'all got to beat a real team. Ever since 2019, man, that was supposed to be the Canes coming out party, and they were supposed to be a, a, a contender from that point on. Every time they faced a real contender, they gotten eliminated. They are dangerously approaching 2010 San Jose Sharks status. They they need to, to figure it the fuck out. Belly goal was eerily similar to the goal game one against Florida. Yeah, that's facts. I like. I'd like to see the Oilers win, but it's going to be the Bolts. Yeah, I think so too, man. I I'm pretty much on that exact same line of thinking. I think Tampa's got another one. Carolina's about to go through a rebuild? Oh, hell, really? I don't know if I'd call it a... I don't know if I'd call it a rebuild just yet in Carolina. I don't... I don't think I'd go there. But they do... Um, they do have to do something. Or maybe they don't. Maybe the smartest move is to stay put and... You know, just try to round out the roster in the off season and, and uh, the regular season. Maybe make a deadline move and give it another shot. 
I, th I think that might be the best move for Carolina, but... But if they can't get it done again next year... Oh, early goal for Tampa. And they're going to take the lead early in the third period. It's Andre Palat once again. Game three has gone from Tampa Bay not looking so hot to them having the entirety of the momentum with them. And we'll see if the Rangers have an answer, and they do. Kreider to Zabanajad. Instant tie game. My goodness. Well done. Boston and Pittsburgh need to think rebuild. Ah, Bo Boston, yes. Pittsburgh, I don't know. I don't know about that for Pittsburgh because they still have Sidney Crosby. They kind of they kind of owe it to him to to go for it, as long as they have Sidney Crosby. We'll see what they we'll see what they can pull off. What a response! Yes, sir. That was a quick response from the Ranger. What a hit! My goodness, get stepped into, bud. It absolutely stepped into. Oh, that's a good chance. For Strom, but Vasilevsky with the leather. Stopping that one. I don't think you rebuild after leading the standings like Florida did. No, not the... The Panthers don't need to rebuild. They don't. They need to, to round out their roster. That's what they need. They need to, like, sort of massage their identity a little bit. And there's Strom. There's Ryan Strom. He gets a bucket. Should I do a hundred dollar dono? Says Maddie. I, that's up to you, bro. <laughs> that was uh, that was. Oh my God! What is happening? Where is where is Bob Cole when you need him? Everything is happening. Alex Killorn. The fuck is the score? I think we're tied? Yeah, we're tied. Goodness gracious. Probably the four fastest goals in, in playoff history. Like, we saw that in the second round. Oilers, Flames. I think we just beat it. Good Lord. Rangers and, and, and Lightning... Just trading, trading goals back and forth. Not what we expected when we saw Vasilevsky and Chesterkin were uh, were the goaltenders, but here we are, and the Rangers get another one. Andrew Cop, what is happening? I, this is wild. We haven't seen this much offense in any of the simulation streams. That's, what the hell? Just, oh my god, Tampa almost got another one. Five to four out of nowhere. Robocop, I like that. I like that. I don't think that's Vassie being bad. The Rangers playing good offense. I went to grab dinner and another two goals got scored. Yes, sir. <laughs> this game is crazy. Unbelievable. Both coaches are losing their minds right now. God, where are the goalies? Just, just like Colorado and uh, Edmonton again. Yeah. What a... I, I feel like we're calm now. I feel like everything's calmed down. I, I'm not sure, though. Very well could be... Um, 
There will be some more shenanigans on the on the horizon here as that shot rims all the way back to their defensive zone. Final score, 19-8. It's looking that way. Imagine if we had it on, like, seven-minute periods like we usually do. Woo! I'm waiting for this game to end to shred my pulled pork. Oh, bro, pulled pork is so fucking good. It is so... It's just... Mm. I might... I might... Shoot, I might have that tomorrow night. If I can order some pulled pork... I might do that. I don't know what we're having yet tomorrow night, but... That's a good idea. Snipe! Absolute snipe! Barclay Goodrow gives the Rangers a two-goal lead in an unbelievably wild game three. It's me eight pounds of pulled pork. Oh my god, that is a lot. That is a lot of fucking food, my dude. I respect it. Former Bolt, yes sir, the former Bolt giving the Rangers the insurance marker. Now it's 6-4. Not a lot of time left. Tampa needs to turn it on. Need the afterburners here on this one. And we're going to have a penalty called on the Bolts. That is effectively going to end their hopes here in game three. Andre Palat sits for two. Or maybe less. But if you're the Rangers, I think you... Um, you don't shoot this puck unless you have a really good look at it. I'd say I, I'm trying to kill as much time off the clock as possible and only shoot if I, I, if I know it's a grade-A chance. Uh, like this one. My goodness. A systemic failure of, pa of penalty killing here. Two, two great chances, but Vasilevsky stops them both. Thank you, Mods, by the way, for that. Can we ban the bot? Yes, dude. It's Relax. If we ban the bot as soon as they show up. Exactly what Thompson said. The bot gets banned every single time, but it's it's a bot. It it takes itself like three seconds to create a, a new one. There you go. Empty net for Artemi Pernar. And that's gonna do it for game three. The Rangers are gonna take a two to one series lead. Let's go. Not like an escape result at all. I'm I'm a little uh, perplexed by it. There's, that's a lot of offense considering these two teams. Well, you know what? Both teams have the ability to put up goals, so I I don't know. I just both goalies decided to to call a truce and both have an awful game here in game three. But ultimately, the Rangers win. So you know what? I ain't too stressed. I ain't too stressed about it. Because that's the team I'm cheering for in this series. There's another chance for the blue shirts. Back at the point. They're just going to run out the clock here. One last shot. Blockered away by Vasilevsky, but the damage is done. Two to one series lead for the New York Rangers. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Now Tampa's in a little bit of a pickle. We all know that they don't lose back-to-back -back games in the playoffs. 
but now would be a terrible time to start uh, start doing that. Because if they lose this next game, ladies and gentlemen, seven to four, my God, if they lose this next game, then they are going to be facing elimination on the road. Ah, not a great spot to be in. We'll see how game number four plays out. At Amelie Arena once more. Will Vasilevsky go absolutely god? That is that is fitting, the loading screen. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Was the loading screen a precursor to the victor? We're about to find out, baby. Game number all jerseys. Yeah, we might do all jerseys next game. I don't know. Some people don't like when I do all jerseys during these streams because they're only oh, the playoff. We can't have all streams or all all uniform. Oh! Instant own goal for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Two seconds into this one, and the Rangers take a one nothing lead in Game Four. There will not be a shutout for Vasilevsky tonight. My goodness, Victor Hedman's shot is stopped. What a quick start for the Rangers. They just threw it on net, and the, the, the Bolts did the rest, really. Oh, that is a huge hit. Injuries are on, by the way. They just don't happen a whole lot. EA, will you relax? Yo, that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. EA needs to relax. Rigged. I wish. Nice shot. Okay. Nice. Okay, good breakout for the Rangers. Going lateral. Oh, my goodness. They almost had a uh, really nice cut to the inside deke right there. Streamer has Tampa goalie in rookie mode. Yeah, you can't do... You used to be able to do that. You used to be able to... Um, give a team a goaltending advantage, which was really cool. If you... Let's say... Like, there's a lot of people, they can play on All-Star. But if they move it up to Superstar, they just can't do it. Or they can play on Pro, but All-Star is too damn hard for them. So, what you used to be able to do... Way back in, like, the mid-2000s is uh, before each game you had a slider and you could give either team a skater advantage or either team a goalie advantage to sort of tune the difficulty a little bit. So you could find like that perfect difficulty where you have to play well to win but it's also not too easy. You feel me? Because you don't want a game where you win every single time, right? That's just not it. That is just not it. You have to have a little bit of challenge in there. I remember that you could have judged. Yeah, yeah, it was two sliders at the. I remember exact. I remember how the screen looked and everything. And that NHL 06 on GameCube, son. It was huge. It was a fantastic game. I think he just died. He did not look good. Oh. Oh, look at that. And that is a huge stop. Igor Shesterkin keeping the Rangers up there. Yo, what if this game ends 1-0 and, and it ends up being an own goal that decides game four? Oh, my goodness. It very, very nearly did not end 1-0 two seconds ago. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And he's going to turn it over. Okay. I thought Ranta pulled his... Yo, Ranta pulled something. Might be hamstring. Might be something else. Might be something in the shoulder even. It, it, it was a weird motion. And you could tell as soon as he did it. As soon as he did it, he knew that he pulled something. So... He might have torn something, too, the way that he reacted. 
I guess we'll find out soon enough. What a hit. My God, this man got teabagged by two guys. Sheesh. Rangers coming out, playing heavy here in game four. Looking for that 3-1 series lead. Can you imagine? They come out and they win two games in Tampa. They hand Tampa Bay back-to-back -back losses for the first time in 76 years. That would be uh, that would be quite a feat. Huge save by Shesterkin. That's a great chance. Now the Rangers getting it out. Somewhat of a two-on-one here. That's a good shot, and it's going to be rebounded all the way back to the Bolts. Bodies are flying in game four, absolutely. I think it was lower body. Yeah, we'll we'll know. We'll know for sure after the playoffs are done. They're not going to divulge that information right now. Or at least it usually wouldn't. It would it would surprise me if we knew exactly what was wrong with him. Unless he's for sure not coming back. If if in the playoffs we find out what someone's actual injury is, my god, there's another car crash. What a hit. Cop to the middle. And they can't get the shot on goal. And the first period will end 1-0 for the Blue Shirts on an own goal by the Lightning. As the bodies have been indeed hitting the floor. My opinion on Kachetkov? I don't really have an opinion on him. I haven't seen him play enough to have a good opinion. That's a cool name, though. So, I mean, that's that's cool. I like him. It's been years. Yes. Yes, it has. Here we go. Second period. Will Tampa tie this up? Palat with a quick shot to start the proceedings here. Stopped by Shesterkin. Tampa Bay still on it. Stammer's shot. I don't think that reached the net. Palat has it back into the corner. He's going to drive the middle of the ice and have the puck taken away from him. Here come the Rangers back the other way. Down the right side. Sauce pass all the way to the point. But Vasilevsky able to stop a pretty weak shot here. Now here comes a defensive zone face shot. Tampa's gonna win that thing. Gonna lurk for a bit. That's all good, Thompson man. That's all good. Appreciate you. Oh, mashed potatoes is is good. Mashed potatoes is fantastic. Your Bantam coach used to be an NHL player. That's cool. That's really cool. So, man should know how to run a drill. Oh, we might see an interference call here. Yes, we will. Little too much rough stuff from the Rangers. You knew with how physical this game was being that we'd see a penalty at some point, and there it is. It's going to be Ryan Lindgren going to the penalty box. Good defenseman for the Rangers, too. The bolt soldiers. <laughs> Holy smokes, what a clearing attempt. That thing went up up there. And the Rangers are gonna send it down the ice, but here come the bolts back the other way. I thought they might have a lane here, but they do not. Great play by the PK. It's gonna be stopped up though. Tampa Bay. Resetting. That's a good hit as well. Adam Fox clears it all the way down the ice. And the Rangers penalty kill units look pretty damn good against a high-powered Tampa Bay power play. Now here they come back down the ice. I think that's Colton. He turns the puck over. I thought that puck was going over the glass, but it is not. It's all the way down the ice. Once again, beautiful penalty killing. Intercepted in the offensive zone. And that's it for the Tampa power play. Great, 
great penalty kill of this killing display from the Rangers here. Luke, my man with the 199. Don't appreciate you, bro. Love the MJ Anthony be a pro. Keep it up. Appreciate it, man. Will do. Will absolutely do that. Thank you once again for the $2 dono. I appreciate it. Power play looked like skating drill. Yeah, that did not look like a good power play at all, but I feel like we got to give credit to the Ranger penalty kill here a little bit. Oh, are they going to go back on it? Oh, my goodness. We are diving all over the place. We are slide tackling like his damn FIFA 96 or whatever. Them slide tackles used to be OP as shit in FIFA. They still kind of... Uh, no, not really, but uh, they used to be... The only way to play defense was to slide tackle everywhere in FIFA. Oh, spin around shot. Kicked aside. Vasilevsky keeping the bolts tight here. One timer, another save. Rebound. That goes wide. It's chased into the corner. The Rangers with a great shift here. Post penalty kill. They're going to go on this four check. Only set one man, but that one man is enough to do the job. Kako gets the shot. He's padded aside. And they're going to go after the puck once again and they retrieve it. And that's going to be a penalty on the Bolts. Great shift from the Rangers, drawing Victor Hedman to the penalty box. And we'll see if the Blue Shirts can have a better power play than the Bolts just had. Camel Car goal was offside. Nope, not even close. Not offside at all. And I'm an Oilers fan. I've been for years. That was not a... That was not... Offside. No, even close, Mike. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mods. Appreciate you. It's making multiple copies of itself now. That's crazy. That shit is crazy. Game is at 8 p.m. Eastern, correct? Yes, it absolutely is. 8 p.m. Eastern is game one at Madison Square Garden. And here we are in game four of this one as uh, the Ranger power play goes for nothing but the one-timer post power play. Beats Vasilevsky, can't beat the goal frame. And we still are looking at a one nothing score here in game four as Victor Hedman takes a fat L trying to get into the zone. Here come the blue shirts back the other way. Shot goes wide. It's just a clean shot. Oh, one-timer attempt. Stopped by some pretty good defensive play. Bugs up with the chat. Oh, that's just that's just a bot. It's fine. We ban them. We move on. Now, uh oh, oh my goodness. Oh, nice play. Here we go. Here we go. Rangers might get a chance here. Oh, I like this. I like. The oh, I thought he was gonna cut inside. He drops it though, and it's gonna be blocked. Still one to nothing. If you're just joining us, the one goal that's been scored in this game was an own goal by the Lightning on the very first shift of this game. And the puck hasn't tickled the twine since, so whoever owned gold that must be feeling terrible about himself here. Slap shot padded. Rangers with a secondary chance, though. Oh, what a feed! Ryan Rees out here looking like a whole playmaker. But Vasilevsky's standing tall. Low scoring tonight, eh? Depending on debating on betting the under. Mmm. Mm, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, nice save. I feel like Tampa might come out and get a few goals, man. I Tonight wouldn't be the game I bet the under, just because I feel like somebody might catch somebody slipping. But once the game starts, or the series has a flavor to it, then I'd, I'd probably be more comfortable. I wouldn't be comfortable tonight. That's a great pick. Last minute in the second period. Rangers are going to gain the zone, but turn it over instantaneously. And here we go back down the ice. That's a muffin, but it's handled. 
nonetheless by Igor Shesterkin. And that's the end of two periods of play here at Amelie Arena. Game four is 1-0 in favor of the good guys, New York Rangers. Shots are even. Ten. Ten apiece. Port shredding back in time for the second. That's what I'm talking about. Except it's the third. Except it's the third. So here we go. We shall see if that own goal will stand as the only goal tonight. That would be hilarious. After a 7-4 to four ridiculous gong show of, of a game three. Could Tampa Bay be going back to MSG, facing elimination on an own goal? That would be quite the story. That, indeed, would be some shit. Slap shot with traffic. Igor finds it. We're going to have a penalty on the Rangers, but that was a great stop. Adam Fox going to the penalty box, and this is a huge power play for the Bolts. We just came out of the locker room. So everybody should be pretty much energized. You see Stammer lining up on that point. He's going to get the puck on the faceoff. That shot is stopped. The rebound more saves by Igor. The third chance. Igor Shesterkin stops them all. And Tampa still has it, though. And another one. More saves. And it's cleared down the ice as Shesterkin kills the first bit of this penalty all by himself. My goodness. This is the goaltending we were expecting to see in this series. Tampa, one-timer over the net by at least a foot. They're going to regain possession here, though. Moving the puck around nicely from the point with traffic. It hits the traffic, though, and it's deflected into the corner. But the Bolts still have it. Good puck movement, bad puck movement all of a sudden. And the Rangers have it. Fire it down the ice. Dangerous looking power play for the Bolts here. Looking for the tying goal in game four. But they can't. They can't put it home. That looked offside to me, but it's an automated video game, so I guess it wasn't offside. It was just really close. Oh, we might get we might see another penalty. Now apparently we're not, but can somebody play the puck behind the net though from the Rangers side? That would be that'd be huge. Uh oh. Oh, one timer. I can't believe it. Igor Shusterkin is winning this game by himself right now. Montreal or Boston, IRL? Oh, Boston. 100%. 100%. Oh, my God. Igor. That is some vintage Igor Shesterkin shit right there, boys. Definitely is the only other goalie that could be able to match Vassy. That's what I was telling my, my friend who's a Rangers fan. I was like, man, y'all are facing the best goalie in the world, but y'all probably have the only goalie that could match him in a series. It's just Vassy. The, the only thing that differs is Vasilevsky has a pedigree of being an absolute closer in the playoffs and just locking it down ice in his veins when it really matters. And Shesterkin just hasn't had a playoff run to even prove that he can do that yet. So it's going to be interesting uh, to see. This could be a coming out party for, for Shesterkin here. Like, if he has the season that he had and then stares down Andre Vasilevsky and outplays him, we could be looking at the, uh, the birth of a true superstar here in New York. Back again, but yo, Gary, welcome back, bro. Welcome back. Philippus of Heetel wins the faceoff. And here comes my boy, Kapo Kako. And he's going to feed that back to the blue line. Oh, this might be a turnover. No, it's not. They somehow keep control of that, but then turned it over. It's a two on two. 
Plenty of ice here for Stammer, but he is going to run into some pretty decent defense. Nice feed up the ice. That's a clean zone entry. But they can't establish any sort of offensive zone time here. Here come the Bolts. Back the other way. Good shot. Good clean shot. Maybe too clean. As Shesterkin sees all types of... Uh, all types of it. The correct team is winning. I see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, face off. Tie up. Originally picked up by the Lightning. But the Rangers are going to get it back. They're going for another button hook on the zone entry. And that, once again, is tied up on the sidewall and taken away by the Lightning. Maybe uh, time for some consideration in the dumping department here for the Lightning. That's offside. And they're, you know, that should be ruled intentional offside, but it's not going to be. Deacon says that Deacon's calling it. Saying that own goal is going to end up standing as the game winner. I guess we're about to find out. Brilliant performance from Igor Shesterkin to this point. Here comes Breadman. That was not Breadman. Not even close. It was Ryan Strom. I, I dead ass thought that jersey said 10. Oh, that's a, that's a decent looking shot, but it's going to be wide. If you don't make Shesterkin work. He is sure as hell not going to allow those. Slap shot from the point. They are just throwing everything on net at this point. Tampa not being selected with their opportunities at all. They are just desperately trying to tie this game. Good shot. But Vasilevsky stopping another Ranger shot. Like he stopped every single one of the Rangers shots so far in this game. Couldn't stop his own teams though. And uh, that's that's the difference so far. Out the left side wall come the Rangers. Gaining the zone. Y'all need to dump it in when it's not open. There we go. Going around the boards. I like that. Back at the point once more. Schneider moving it to his defense partner. Good passing plays. Oh, that was almost a turnover, but it got to Schneider in the end. Slap shot. Good save. And Tampa Bay is going to pick it back up. We are approaching here the last minute. It is the last minute of play for Tampa Bay. Last gasp effort. We'll see if they can find a tying goal as the Rangers take it away. They are killing a lot of time here with this play down low. Oh, what a shot! Backhander, Chris Kreider. And that's going to be it. For game four, Tampa will lose back-to-back -back playoff games for the first time in 27 years. Look at this shot from Christopher Bartholomew Kreider. On the sharp angle. Oh, he just I thought he roof daddied it, but nope. He just beat Vasilevsky to the post. And that goes in. Wow. The first mistake Vasilevsky makes this game. And it's a 2-0 lead for the Blue Shirts. I hate Kreider even more now. <laughs> Chat, not a fan of the Kreidster. They're going to pull Vasilevsky, and the newspapers will say 3-0. As Mika Zibanejad ends it. Wow. What a game. And the Bolts are going to face elimination in game five on the back of a brilliant goaltending performance from Igor Shesterkin. And after a 7-4 to four shootout in game three, we see a 3 nothing game that was basically one nothing until the last, like, 20 seconds. Wow. We all know it was a one nothing game. Yeah, exactly.
Wow. All right. That's going to do it. T 21 up, 21 down for Igor Shesterkin. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful performance. Mika Zibanejad has six points in four games. My goodness. Beautiful. Here comes game five. At Madison Square Garden. Will the back-to-back -back champs finally lose a playoff series? We're about to find out. It is looking damn good for the New York Rangers right now. Do not blow this. Do not blow this. Game five, Mika Zibanejad, Steven Stamko. Stammer wins the faceoff, gets the puck back. They're going to be looking for a quick one here. Stammer shoots it, and he's gloved away. Shesterkin looking for some quick early saves to get back into that mood, man. If he can play like he did in game four, the Rangers have a good shot here. Zibanejad's going to win the faceoff. And the Rangers are going to have a hard time getting out here. Tampa Bay with some pretty heavy forecheck early on. Did he come the bolts as they move pucks and players extremely quickly here early in this game? The once, oh my God, Igor Shesterkin. What a save early in game five. Keeping the game scoreless. Now here come the Rangers. Oh, and another good save. How loud would it be in there? Well, I can tell you for sure there would be some Igor chance right about now. Are you kidding me? After after what he did in game four, he comes out and does a split save on a one-timer, like a cross-crease one-timer? That would be the loudest Igor chance of the season. They should add some of those custom chants, by the way, in the game. They, we should have an Igor chant. We should have the soup chants for, for Jack Campbell. Things like that. Oh, oh, good chance for Panarin. But Vasilevsky is going to find a blocker. <laughs> NYPD refusing to investigate robbery. That's good. I like that. <laughs> I'm going to use that in the group chat later. <laughs> That's great. Here comes Strom. Back at a point. Oh, that is a bad shot attempt. With so much coverage on him. All the way to the right side. Come the lightning the other way. Are you kidding me? What? Igor is a grown-ass man. Another monstrous split pad save. You can't be for real. Hope y'all are doing good. Yo, James, what's good? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Igor, Igor has declared Rangers victory. Yo, you know, some Patrick Washington. This man, after game four, after the final buzzer in game four, he came into the locker room and said, no more goals. <laughs> and he, or no more goals. And he said, fuck that. I'm stopping everything. Oh, what a passing play. Backhander stopped by Vasilevsky. Huge hit in the corner. The Rangers have a secondary chance. Oh, Vasi answers two one-timer saves. And we have the goalie matchup we were waiting for. Wow. This, this is more like it. Ain't no 7-4 game in this series. This is what we're probably going to see. 
Unbelievable. Another save. Rebounds. More saves. These two goaltenders move side to side so quickly. Oh, yeah, that save was massive, man. After, after Igor made those, if they came back down and scored immediately, that would have been tough for the Lightning, but Vasilevsky giving them some hope here with that split save as well. That's a little bit of a puck battle. We might see a penalty. We do not. And here come the Rangers back on side. But they're going to turn it over as Tampa Bay is coming down the ice. Great feed across the ice from, I think, Victor Hedden. And it's going to be turned over, however. The Rangers coming up with it. Sigzoni dropping it to our savior, Ryan Reeves. He shoots. My, bro, if <laughs> if it's Ryan Reeves that, that does the thing, I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That's a good stop. Couldn't handle the rebound, but the Rangers did. So it's all good. They're going to try to power in. That doesn't work. And the Bolts are going to try to load up with their first line once again. Kucherov deeks in. And he stopped by Shesterkin. Dalcheri always used to say big save at the at one end and a goal at the other. That, that's, that's, that happens a lot. Because at... Because usually those huge saves happen in, like, two-on-one situations or, like, you know, rush chances where one team is outnumbering the other team because they are full sending it. But when their goalie makes the save and the defending team takes it the other way, it often it turns into a huge chance at the other end. Because the then the previously attacking team is now defending and usually is facing an odd man rush. So those big saves, man, they can swing the momentum entirely. It just goes right to your legs, too. When your goalie gives you a huge save like that, that gives you some more, some more belief. He's pointing the lineup for 10. We don't know yet. He is doubtful for game one, but probably or likely is to come back. Later in the series. Oh yeah, Mike Smith is Mike Smith is is at least he was dog water in game one. He could turn it around, and he's gonna need to if the if the rain, or the Oilers want a chance. <clears throat> That's why I think whoever wins the Eastern Conference Finals is going to win the Cup. Just don't trust. Yeah, no, I don't trust either of those defenses, Colorado or Edmonton, and either of those goaltending um, goal duos. I, I, I think that's a 100% correct take. I feel like whoever comes out of the East is winning the Cup. You think the Colorado Edmonton series is going to get more defense? Nah, not really. Not really. Like, obviously, we're not going to see 8-6, to six, you know. But I don't think we're going to see any sort of 2-1 grind-it-out trap type games. I don't think that's going to happen. Neither of those teams are built for that shit. But here comes the second period. Still scoreless here at Madison Square Garden. Good hit. But that's not going to lead to anything. Head says Tampa, but heart says Rangers. Exactly same, bro. Comes another face-off win for the Bolts. They go to Hedman. He feeds it up the ice. Pretty nice breakout. Stammer is going to bolt to the left side. Beats everyone to the net, but can't get it by. Igor Shesterkin it's a somewhat of a three on two the other way. They're going to try for the cross crease. Ill advised. That was right through some defense and it did not get through. 
And the Bolts are going to have a chance the other way to show for it. Back from the point, he mishandles the puck. Akutarov finds it behind the net. Goes for the backhander, opts to pass it instead. Gets the puck back, and it's off the tip of the glove of Igor Shosturkin. Unbelievable. This is insane. The Rangers coming back the other way. Mika Zibanejad with a brutal turnover. And they're going to be defending once more. Mika tries to fight for it, can't get the puck back. But luckily for them, that doesn't come back to bite them. He's got Zibanejad on the right side, but that doesn't work. As he takes the shot right at the defenseman. Too many New Yorkers moving in. <laughs> Now, oh, nice pass to the middle, and a huge glove, or blocker save, excuse me, by Vasilevsky from the corner. The Rangers on the cycle, stopped again. First time seeing Kucherov all series. Yeah, he's been pretty, um, pretty much a non-factor for a couple of games. <laughs> Igor looking like Ivan Drago. Ah! Don't own goal. Don't own goal on Igor. That would be rude. After the goaltending he's given you. Brutal turnover, though. That's just as bad. It's a good pass to the middle. It's kicked to the side. And we're going to see a Ranger penalty. As the Bolts power play springs up on the bench. Huge chance here. Crazy hockey was good, man. The Rangers have come out here and surprised the hell out of the Bolts. The Bolts need to win this game to force game six. Who would have thought that they would be facing elimination in the fifth game of this series? They're going to win... The face-off here on the power play. Slap shot from the point. Gloved aside by Shesterkin and all the way down the ice. That was a hard shot. Shesterkin couldn't even handle it. But he got just enough leather on it to deflect it away, and that's all that you need this time of year. Nice feed across to the middle. He's in alone, and Shesterkin seals the five-hole. But Corey Perry's going to get the puck back inside. Brutal turnover. I think that was Kucherov. Losing control of the puck. And the PK guys for the Rangers are going to go for a little bit of an attack, but nothing too crazy. They're back here as uh, Tampa's trying to do something. They can't do it. That's going to be cleared down the ice, and it should be the end of the Bolts' power play. As uh, the final seconds tick away on the man advantage, it's all over now. Tampa failing on the 5-on-4. And they're still looking for their first goal since game four, or game three of this series, excuse me. Another save by Shesterkin. Rangers just looking to calm things down for a good post-PK shift here. Gaining the zone. That's going to be shot into the corner. They have a couple of passing options here. They find one, shoots it, blocker it away. Vasilevsky doing his own, his own little goaltending display here. Both men with the pads are just unbelievable so far. I miss the uh, home white jerseys. Yeah, that, that was cool, but I kind of feel like colored jerseys at home makes more sense. I feel like that just makes more sense to me. Because it's your home. You're wearing your colors, right? Like, why would you wear white at home? I don't know. That's just me, though. And, I mean, it works in the NBA. Like, it's not like uh, it's not like we've never seen it in pro sports. But I, I don't know. I just feel like it makes more sense for your home to be showcasing your, your team's colors. You know what I mean? That's a good feed. Inside. Huge save. It's on the line. Vasilevsky falls back and doesn't let it go any further.
unbelievable. One timer, another magnanimous save. Okay. All right, we're officially in a goalie battle here, boys. This is happening. Oh, right through the middle. Oh, you got to take that first shot. You have got to take that first shot when the opportunity was there. He didn't, and now here comes Tampa Bay. Back the other side. Doesn't work, though. Good back check. And we are almost through 40 minutes without a goal here. Tampa Bay's about to get a decent chance here if they can just speed past the defense. They do. Belmar shoots it. He is stopped by the chest of Shesterkin. All the way to the right side to Blue Shirts with a one-timer. And the save is answered by Vasilevsky. 40 minutes down, no goals in game five at MSG. Both goaltenders have been amazing for two consecutive games. Send that man back to the farm, dude. Man, 18 to 16, the shots. I am here for it. And here we are. Third period, game five. Will one of these goaltenders blink? Or will we go into the night seven overtimes without a goal? We're about to find out. Here comes the third period, gentlemen. That shot's going to go wide. It looked like it might go in if it hit the net. But we'll never know. And the blue shirts are going the other way. They are stopped as well. Edmonton won the other sim, right? No, I think it was the, if I remember correctly, it was the Avalanche that won the other simulation. Oh, man, I almost missed the first goal of this game as I was reading chat. That would have been sad. That would have been real sad. That's a huge turnover. That might lead to a 2-on-0 for the Lightning. It leads to a half breakaway. Staring down to Stark, and the one-timer misses. I think that was Palat with a huge miss. You can get a clean one-timer on Shesterk, and you have to hit the net. But that's what happens, man. When you have a great goaltender like that against you, you start you start trying to make the perfect shot on every shot. <laughs> the chat is not impressed with the lack of finish on that one. Shesterkin dodging a bullet. Perhaps has a force field up there. Who knows? It's a good shot. It deflected off a skate. A friendly skate. But Vasilevsky still found it. Oh shit, I think I unhid the bot. I'm so sorry. I hope not, but. Lack of energy, he barely started. That's good. That's a good one. Felipe! Oh, you're just in time for the first goal of game five. Andrew Kopp, the trade deadline acquisition, finally beats Andre Vasilevsky. And the Rangers are up 1-0. Oh, here comes Braden Point. He drops it. Very next shift glove. Save by Shesterkin. Could that have been the goal that eliminates the back-to-back -back champs? We're about to find out. The big boy is out for Tampa. But Braden Point loses the faceoff. Kicked. All the way to the right side. And the Rangers get out of their zone. He's just going to skate in. He's a grown man. Oh, my goodness. Nice pass for Capo Caco. But he can't finish it. Stomp, but... Yo, I don't, I don't see that emoji a lot, but that's, uh, that's, that's a good one. That's a great point. Tampa has not scored for over five periods now. Igor Shesterkin just being Igor motherfucking Shesterkin out here. Oh, huge chance out in front, and it 
finally goes in. I don't know how that got through, but none of the bolts care. They finally break through. An unbelievable performance by Igor Shesterkin. And Brandon Hagel is the one to finally get by him. So we're right back to square one here in game five. One to one. This series has had ever, that is intentional offside as fuck, but it's <laughs> they're not going to count it. Another face-off win for Tampa. I feel like they've had the bulk of the face-off wins so far in this game, at least. Capo Caco comes down the side, but Tampa's defense says it ain't Caco Tuesday, baby. We're going to get this puck back, and they do. And here goes Ross Colton. He gets thumped. And we are going back up the ice. Oh, nice feed to the middle. I kind of like that. Oh, good shooting shot. But that's going to be an easy save, kind of from Vasilevsky. You need to scream him a little bit. What is offside anymore, to be honest? <laughs> Another face-off win for Tampa. Man, if the Rangers can just get possession on a few of these plays, they could make uh, they could make great things happen. Corey Perry? He's going to... That's a muffin. And it's going to be kicked aside. Uh, he's hard after his own rebound, though. But the blue shirts are going to gather it away. As uh, the last half period here of game five, the Rangers looking to move on. That's dumped in. Neither team here wanting to go too far crazy offensively here. But then again, if you don't score, all you're doing is bringing the game to overtime where you're back in the same situation, right? So you gotta, something's got to give at some point. Here comes Andrew Kopp thinking the same thing. But they can't get any offense done. The lightning back, huge chance to rebound. They can't get it. There's a shot and he scores. Clean shot from right between the hash marks. Braden Point. He is a clutch performer for the Lightning, and he gives them the lead here in Game 5. Could Braden Point be the one to force Game 6? We're about to see brutal turnover from the Lightning here. They might pay for that. They might pay for that. Here come the Bolts back the other way. Not the Bolts, the Rangers. They're going to pick it up behind the net. Good feed back to the point, trying to move the defense around a little bit. Andrew Cobb gets it back on the sidewall. He goes to the corner. He tries to skate to the net. He passes it off to the point inexplicably. The Rangers keeping possession here. They're being patient with their offense, but that shot, perhaps a little too patient. They are going to get it blocked, but we're going to have a penalty on Alex Killorn. Huge penalty kill for the Lightning. Facing elimination. Vasilevsky, you are up, my guy. Do the thing you do. Tampa wins another face-off. And fire it down the ice immediately. We'll see if the Rangers can reload here. Coming through the middle of the ice. He's being defended by multiple people. Finds somebody out in front. Vasilevsky stands tall. Rangers indeed need big PP energy. Here we go with another faceoff. Can they win one singular faceoff? They cannot. Tampa dominating the dot here in this game. Oh, that's a brutal spin move. <gasps> they farmed it. They absolutely farmed it. They had a two on O. Oh. They were just overzealous on that one. And took the shot way before they should have taken the shot. All the way to the left side. That's a decent drop pass. And the Ranger power play comes into the offensive zone. Right to the middle. It's loose out in front. 
but the Bolts are going to fire it back down the ice. Here we go. Nice move to the middle of the ice. Shoot that, please. It's going to be blocked. That's it for the power play. But now it's six on five as Igor Shesterkin goes to the bench. All the way back into the offensive end of things. Oh, he drives right to the goal. But Vasilevsky seals the post. And it's down into the corner. They're fighting for it. Tampa trying to kill some time. Vasilevsky seals the post again on the sharp angle, but they are going to take another penalty. Ryan McDumbass going to the box. Here we are. Win one singular face-off, Blue Shirts. I beg of you. Oh, my God, you bastards. Okay, you got it. They got it. One-timer gloved away. The big cat coming up clutch again. The chance is slim indeed, but it is there. 14 seconds on the clock. Tampa wins the face. I almost own gold it. That would have been hilarious. But it's going to be cleared down the ice. Not going to go for icing as they're on the penalty kill. And uh, the Rangers are just going to run the clock out inexplicably. And that's game five. Wow. What a game. What a goaltending duo. Or duel. Shesterkin and Vasilevsky. That's the game we were all waiting for. Beautiful performance. I kind of feel bad for Shesterkin, man. You shut out a team for five straight periods... And you can't, you can't get it done. Oh, that's that sucks. Would you sign with the Rangers in twenty two? I don't think so. But never say never. I don't know. Here we are, game number six at Amelie Arena. Vasilevsky absolutely stole the show in game number five. And we'll see if he can do it again here in game number six. How is that drone not dead so close to the coil? I, I don't know. I take full responsibility because I pointed out the shut up streak. <laughs> I think I agree with that one. That's just EA voodoo, man. Well, here we are. Game six. Tampa in control early. It's a fight for the puck in the corner. And New York's going to take it away. Here comes Chris Kreider. Tries to fight his way inside. Doesn't quite work, though. Nice feed up the ice, and we'll see if uh, if we can have a quick start from either team or if goaltending will be established again as the biggest factor in this game. Adam Fox finds his forward teammate up there. But they can't gain the blue line. Good hit by Kreider, though. He gets the puck back right out in front, and a huge save by Vasilevsky on the first real chance of the game. Beautiful. Fantastic goaltending here. Down into the corner. Huge hit. But Tampa still in possession. That might be a three on two if the Rangers attack with speed. And it looks like they will. But they hold on to the puck a little bit too long. And that's taken away easily by Andre Vasilevsky. By the way, guys, just want to remind you, if you are new here and you want to see some more, we're going to be doing the Stanley Cup Finals as well as the rest of our usual content. So if you like some child content, man, hit your boy up with a subscribe. We're on that road to 20K, baby. 
And if you're already subscribed, well, guess what else is free? The like button. So if you can hit that, that would help your boy out. We've had a great turnout here for for this uh, series, this Eastern Conference Finals. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Pernarin gets absolutely rocked on the zone entry, though. He didn't appreciate that. Hundred and twenty three we're watching. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's a good chance, but that's gonna be blocked. Nice dive block. Okay. Getting a little bit desperate here, both teams. Uh oh, Panarin almost had a shot, but he couldn't get the puck off. Good stick check. Neither team doing much in transition so far. The Rangers didn't have that one huge one timer. But Vasilevsky doing what he does. Early on in the game here. Redman's actually leading the Rangers in scoring. I did not know that. Heedle, are they going to finally... Yes, they finally start winning face-offs here. If, they cannot get dominated in the dot like they did in Game 5. That was brutal. That was just awful. Okay. Decent drop pass, but Ross Colton can't handle it. He got it back and fired it off the glass. Well, off. Someone's skating off the glass, but regardless, same same difference. Back down low. It's picked off. The Rangers playing some pretty solid defense so far. I got to say, man, they're, they're not allowing big chances. And as I say that, it's a brutal turnover on their half of the ice. Are they going to let Tampa walk in? No, they don't. Sharp angles save. Versus Sturkin, that's easy. That's too easy. You're going to need better than that to beat Igor Sturkin. Offensive zone face off. Tampa's going to win it. Oh, they almost made a play from the right side. That was Corey Perry. Good, good eye right there to try to feed that across, but he couldn't quite do it. And now Corey Perry's going to go to the penalty box. Early power play for the Rangers. This is a big chance. Can they take the one nothing lead in game six? On the road. We've already seen the Rangers blow a 3-1 lead in these simulations. Which is ironic because they've kind of been doing the opposite in real life. They're looking to avoid that here today. That was a muffin. Not going to go, but they are going to keep possession. Moving it back towards the point. Good feet to Kreider. His shot is going to be blockered away. That's a good feet again with a one-timer from the right dot. Chris Kreider gunning. But the big cat with the glove. Like Sabolski said, another big face-off here. Vasilevsky's killed off pretty much uh, the power play on his own. Vasilevsky's having, Vasilevsky's having a series right now. Wasn't so hot in game three, but every other game he's been pretty good. And the last two, he's been great. This could be three consecutive, like, A1 games from Vasilevsky here if he plays like that again. That's an awful play as Tampa picks it back up. Oh, my God. Wow. Brutal mistake. And Alex Killorn opens the scoring in Tampa. We're going to go to replay mode to break this motherfucker down. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. Look at this motherfucker. Frank Vetrano. Okay, to be fair, it is a bouncing puck. But Vetrano off his knee pad, grabs it. He's fully in control of this puck. And he loses it. He just loses it on a transition. And then Tampa comes right down the ice. Beautiful stop and go. And then Killorn's left wide open. Oh, man. Frank Vetrano, buddy. Buddy. That was an awful play. Oh, hold on, though. 
Panarin. He looked to fix the scoreboard immediately, but he couldn't. <laughs> you blew it. He did blow it. I don't think that was a pass. I think he just pivoted, and in the transition, he just lost the handle. Oh, that's a brutal turnover from the Bolts now. Both teams uh, not being too careful with how they handle the biscuit. And the uh, Bolts, their captain, to be more specific, Barry at five hole. And it's 2 nothing Tampa. Will we see a game seven? It is looking like Tampa is desperate to make it so. And now you have the uh, situation here that the Rangers are in, which is you need three goals on Andre Vasilevsky. Not ideal, to say the least. Another chance. Oh, that's going to be blocked by the defense. That was looking like a brutal breakdown. Gonna go head to the bar to watch the game. That's what I'm talking about, man. You have a good time there. That should be fun. That happens. I hear all of my cryo, bro. I'm gonna be so upset if they have a 3 1 lead and blow it. Good glove save. Jabe said, I'm 99% sure we're getting game seven. It's It feels like that, eh? And if this game feels like Tampa Bay is just coming out and they are going to be not going to be denied here in game six, but we never know. Things might happen. Barkley Goodrow might take a million penalties. You never know. And that's it for the first period of play. Two nothing bolts as they come out with home ice advantage and take advantage of it. Igor looking human here, yes. Yes, he is, but to be fair, those were two quality shots. Can't really blame the goaltender when the two goals that go in are from literally a foot away. Rangers need to be better. Plain and simple. Here comes the second period. Zibanejad fighting for the puck. But he can't outclass Victor Hedman here. He's going to scoop the whoop around the net. And here come the Bolts back the other. Blot with a shot. And it's going to be stopped by Shesterkin. Bolts aren't done, though. They reset. In on the offensive side of things. That is a terrible, terrible pass. And the Rangers will get it back, but that's a bad turnover again. As Tampa will forecheck this and get it back to back. Kieter is gloved away, though. Good save. Very good save by Shesterkin. Rangers need Messier to come in and guarantee a win. Yeah, maybe. That shot from Hedman is going to be stopped. Not only is it going to be blocked, the Rangers are coming back the other way. But Artemi Panarin didn't have quite enough speed to get around. Counterattack for the Bolts. Going to go around the boards. But Keandre Miller is going to play that to his teammate. They eventually lose it, though. It's back in the corner. That's a great chance, and they score! 3 nothing Tampa Bay. As they come out in a must-win game, and Nick Ball does it again. Wow. What a game from the Tampa Bay Lightning. Point. Fighting in the corner. Getting the puck back. Nick Paul finds it. He swings it to the point. Good puck movement from the Bolts until it's not. We might see a three-on-two for the Blue Shirts here. Good drop pass. That shot can't get through, though. Tampa is just doing it again, folks. 
They are buckling the hell down. You thought it was tough to beat them twice in a row in the playoffs. Imagine three times. Braden Point gets hit on the sidewall, and here come the shirts in transition. I'm going to need you to drop that, Coppa. Thank you. He does. Truba all the way to the left side. It's picked off. Man, Tampa is just not allowing quality chances. They allowed one, and Vassy stopped it. Ever since then, it's been a defense show from the Tampa Bay Lightning. Series is not tied 3-3. Three to three. It is 3-2 three in favor of the Rangers. Oh, nice. Nice pick. Oh, and he's going to miss the net on what looked to be a for sure goal. Oh, it's your prediction. Fair enough. Fair enough. Left side. Oh, yeah. From the corner, they get it to the middle once again. But Vasilevsky is just out of this world right now. Kako can't miss that. That's what I'm saying, man. You need to hit the net there. You have got to hit the net. That's going to be dumped around the boards. Into the corner. Nice play to get it back from the Rangers here. They're going to establish some offense. Get it to the middle. And they score on the rebound. They needed that desperately. And Philip Heedle comes up clutch to get them on the board. Wait, it's Ryan Reeves? It is Ryan Reeves. My man. I saw the seven on the jersey and I assumed it was Heedle. How foolish of me to discount that sniper, Ryan Reeves. Back down low as the fourth line keeps going. At the point, they turn it around. Ryan Reeves feeds it to the left side. That's a good interception. They come back down the ice. You're going to move that to the middle. He does. Good shot. Nice save by Vasilevsky. Stop at a 52 goal score there. Producing at the most important time of the year. Are they talking about Ryan Reese? Because that man does. And go. Good face off win. That's a shot through traffic. I kind of respect it considering you're facing Andre Vasilevsky. You need those um you need those shots to be screened a little bit. That's gonna be into the corner. There's a battle out for it. But Tampa's gonna win this battle again. Stammer's shot goes wide. Hedman picks it back up. Oh, and I believe that is his first of the series. As Nikita Koo Cherov regains the multi goal, three goal lead for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Will the Rangers answer? Not immediately, but they tried. And with a four, you now need five goals against Andre Vasilevsky to win this game. That is a tough task. We'll see if the Rangers are up for it. Here comes Adam Fox on his own entry. Moves it to his teammate. The rebound. And they score. It's still a game. It's 4-2. to two And Frank Vetrano, after costing the Rangers a goal flat out, he's going to get them back in this one 4-2 to two as the offense starts flowing for both teams. What is going on? Apparently, it's a repeat of game three of this series. Good pass to the side. That's blocked. Into the corner. Can they? No, again, Tampa wins the puck battle. One last shot goes wide, way wide. And that's the end of two periods. It is definitely not over, though. Four to two score. Game on at Amelie Arena.
both teams are blowing it. I feel like both teams are fighting. I think that's what's happening. Zibanej ad. Stamkos. Puck drop. Third period of play at Amelie. Stammer with the tie-up. Here comes Kucherov. He shoots it from a sharp angle. And Shesterkin stops that right where it started. Frank Vetrano, the plus-minus lead. That tells you all you need to know about plus-minus. Yeah, Vassy's arm was uh, was kind of freaking the fuck out there on that replay. I, I'm not going to lie, chat. That was that was scary. Some scary stuff happening there. Mika moving it to the middle. They can't quite do it. Kreider bumping the ball off the po Oh, he almost got the puck back from Mika, and that would have been a bomb. But it's going to be intercepted. Great defensive play by the home side here. And we're coming back up the ice. Brutal pass to no one in particular. Need better plays. Flat out need better plays from that. Not sure what happened because I was dealing with chat. What up, Matty? Welcome back, brother. Two goal lead for the Bolts. Game six. Third period of game six. But a two goal deficit is definitely erasable in one period. We'll see if the Rangers are up for it. Uh oh. Here comes Braden Point. He's got a bit of speed to him. He's going to turn the puck over, but he's still fighting. Trying to get the puck back. Fighting a bit too hard. And Braden Point's going to go to the penalty box here. Giving the Rangers a big chance to cut this lead in half. Here comes a huge power play. It is great experience for the young Ranger players. You're absolutely correct, Amundo, about that one. Especially their stars. That shot goes into the corner. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to tuck that on the backhand, but Vassy seals the ice. Really, legend? R really? Really, legend? You think, you think I'm going to do that? I've been doing this shit for years, bro. I've been here for years. What you think this is? Which NHL game had the best AI? Ooh. I kind of like 2K9 and 2K10's AI. Those were those were pretty good AI sets. They weren't like perfect, but power plays looked like power plays. PKs looked like PKs. The AI actually made sense in 2K. That's a good hit in the corner. Blue shirts. Oh no, that's a bad mishandling of the puck. But they are gonna get the puck back. Lucky for them. That's a muffin. But they will get the rebound off said muffin. You got to move your feet, bro. You can't just stand around and pass the puck. And here comes Braden Point, fresh out of the penalty box. Finds his teammate. That shot goes wide, though. And that's a wasted opportunity. He's going to get another one. Glove save. Igor Shesterkin. You can't afford another goal against here if you're the Rangers should move to Edmonton I kind of kind of like the Wi-Fi up here not gonna lie I don't know also like I'm not gonna leave my girl here so it's not like entirely my decision <laughs> we, we, we would need a, a significant chunk of money to make that happen but moving to Edmonton maybe at some point. 
Probably more likely I move to Toronto, though. I'll be fully, uh, fully honest. There's just more shit to do in Toronto. And it's closer. Oh, get there! Yes, they do! Philip Heedle! For real this time. And it's a one-goal game. In game six. I don't think anybody moves to Edmonton. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot right off the face-off. Another great stop by Shesty, though. Zesty Shesty. Messier says we will win game six. <laughs> Here we go. Decent toe drag. Works the puck through. Moves it back to the side while the Rangers establishing a cycle. Going for the all or nothing play. And it's nothing on that one. Great interception. Rangers have a, just over a quarter of a period here to tie this game. So it's plausible. It's plausible here. They are looking to avoid a game seven. When you have a team on the ropes, you have to take care of the business. And that was a good looking play. But it's going to be blocked. Oh, that's onside apparently? I can't believe that's onside. Back to the middle. Oh, oh, if they score here, this is going to be controversial. Oh, that's a big turnover. Oh, huge save by Vasilevsky. Are you shitting me? I thought that was a goal for sure. And the bolts come back down the ice. Looking for the two-goal lead to be reestablished. From the sidewall, they try to force the slot. That doesn't work. Let's go, Rangers. That's what I'm saying, bro. We want those blue shirts to get a dough. Huge deke and a great save. He just pulled some Kale McCarr shit. Yeah. That was nuts. Face off. Whoa, my goodness. He jumped the lane off the face off. We don't see the AI do that too much. He's coming in. Bro, if he came down the ice and scored that, that was going to be a historic ass goal. That was going to live in Ranger history. Oh, that's another brutal pass. And we're going to get our breakaway here to tie the game. And Vasilevsky stands tall. Can't be beat in these situations. Last minute of play in the third period. The Rangers are down to their last gasp to avoid game seven. Tampa's done a fantastic job in game six. You can't knock either of these teams. We're going to have a penalty. I don't know on who. It's on Lindgren in the last minute. That's tough. That is tough. Tampa wins the faceoff on the power play. Good poke check. The Rangers are going to have to attack here. They might be vulnerable to a counter, but I, you have to. It's the last minute of the third. You're down by one in the corner. Here we go. Adam Fox spins off his man. Moves it up the ice. Shesterkin to the bench. Just to make it five on five. That's how desperate we are right now. Oh, boy. That's into the corner. Corey Perry. He's going to move it across. He fans on the shot. Perry with a second chance. He tucks it home. And we're going to game seven. Wow. What a series. God, I hope the real series is just as good as this. This has been fantastic. Oh my goodness, what a deflection. Man. I don't think my heart could take another game seven in real life. Yeah, I know, right? 
That's it. Tampa Bay will not go quietly. And they force a game seven on the road. Who won the Avs Oilers sim? That would be the Colorado Avalanche. Wow. Game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals would give me a heart attack for real. Yeah, that's that. That would be that would be tough. But that was game six. Five to three victory for the Tampa Bay Lightning as they just come up clutch again. Incredible. Both of these teams. Oh my goodness, I fucking farmed it. No! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I'm so sad. I thought it was the other series. Oh my god, you can't be serious. <laughs> Fuck me, really? No! I am so fucking pissed. I have never done that in any of these simulations. Are you shitting me? That's a dang. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so fucking mad. Wow! I I mean I guess the Rangers win. Woo! End of stream. Da 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 da. Family guy. Like fuck. It was getting good. That's why I'm pissed. Okay, here's the thing. How about what if I exit without saving? And if the autosave was at game six, then we're good. I think I have autosave off, though. I think it's off, and we're going to go right back to game one. No! Oh, fuckaroo. It autosaved at the... Oh, my God. Well, I am furious at myself, but apparently the Rangers win. So what happened is, between every single game of this series, I had to simulate the other series. And so what I did was hit X, and then go sim to next game like this, and then click it like that. And... What happened is I got into a habit of doing that. And so I was reading chat while just doing this with my with my left hand. Just go to play now. Oh shit. Yo chat, are we going play now? I know it's not going to be the I know the momentum's all different and shit, but can we just go play now cuz I farmed it. I absolutely farmed it. Nah, I can't resim. That would take way too long. One round playoff. Oh, that's genius! No, but then it would give us the... Actually, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. G fucking genius. Single knockout, five all star, sim, boom. Who said that?
Thank you so much, bro. That is fucking genius. Okay. Okay. Rangers are home. We're not going to get all the final stats and shit, but at least we're going to get the proper cutscene and everything. Thank you so much. I thought I screwed it up. Oh, man. We saved it. Chat saved my live stream. Let's fucking go. All right. Uh, see, this is exactly what I was trying to do here. Just go here, boom, to get to the next game. All right. Game seven, boys. Game seven. As the chat saves my live stream. Let's go. Game one, yeah, fucking right, James. <laughs> what rating is Igor? I actually don't know. I'd love to know what rating Igor is. He's probably like 90, 91. He should be. He should be a 91, I think. Well, here we are, Game 7, boys. Game 7. There's no momentum, nothing. Absolutely nothing that happened. But here we are. Oh, that was a good pass. <laughs> okay, Tampa. Starting off Game 7. With uh, every opportunity here. They have the puck. They have some sustained offense. Usually you'd expect this from the home team, but the veteran Bolts, after winning game six, have a little bit of pep in their step. I think... Uh, I think Vetrano needs to stop and abort all sorts of toe drags, transitions with the puck, anything like that. Anything that involves hands, I think Vetrano should just drop. Because that shit is not helping. You do not have those hands. Shoot that, please. That's going to be off a leg and into the corner. And I'm not talking about Mike leg. He's a bit too old now. Here comes Chris Kreider around the net. He's going to get hooked, uncalled. Bodies tumble. And the bolts bring it offside. All right. There's another face-off win for the Lightning. They've been uh, by far the better team this series. That's a good drop pass, and that is going to be stopped by Shesterkin. Look at Tampa. Tampa is in here, bro. They are on their shit. Down low. Good cycle. Good puck possession. There's a great chance, and Igor says no. Fantastic glove save. Panarin or Kucherov? Ah, shit. Probably Kucherov. But Panarin is not a bad player at all. But I'd go Kucherov. Hey, I wasn't ready for a restart. Well, get ready. Get ready. Huge save by Shesterkin. Into the corner. That's going to be taken away. Up the right boards. Oh, yeah. Philip Heedle with a good chance. That's a muffin, Phil. Come on. We need a better shot than that out of you in game seven, baby. Panera has one goal in seven games. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. He's a playmaker. Now nah, he'll get he'll get going. He has to. If uh if if he doesn't drive play against the Bolts, it it might be it might be tough for the Rangers. Oh pretty bad turnover by Kalorn, but he's lucky the Rangers wanted to change there.
Good feed up to the right boards. Ooh, the dangle, and it, mm, not going to quite work. I hope he doesn't get going. I live tab, but I need my bolts to win. That's fair. I don't even blame you. Here we go. You know there's like a NHL superstar that's like five like five or six years old that's Oh what a shot. Wow. Keandre Miller. He opens up game seven with his first of the series. And here we are, the blue shirts with the lead at home. Somebody got absolutely trucked on the sidewall. He got his hit back, but my goodness. This man's kids is going to be born dizzy. That's how hard he got hit. Whoever wins the series, I think, will win the cup. Yeah, me too. Me too. I don't trust the defense or goaltending of either Colorado or Edmonton to win against either of these teams. Miller's going to be a beast IRL. Oh, fuck yeah. He's going to be very good. And so is, um, uh, what's his fucking name? 55. God damn it, what's his name? Why am I blanking so hard? I It's such a... It's Schneider. Schneider. Goodness gracious. Schneider's going to be a player, too. He's been very good. Yeah, oh, yeah, 55 is Lindgren. You're right. No, but I was talking about Schneider. I don't know why I thought he was 55. That's just the offense of the Avs anyway. Yeah, against Shesterkin or Vasilevsky? I don't know. I don't know. Why play defense when goal? That's what I'm saying. You see, you understand. All right, well, one pair down here in game seven, and we have a one goal lead for the Rangers. Schneider's 20 years old, Miller's 22. Yeah, man, they are. Is Schneider really only 20 years old? That's fucking gross. No shot he should be that good at 20 years old. No freaking shot. That cycle is going to be broken up, though. And that's, that's okay. Easy offside play. I'll take Ryan Reeves greater than Gretzky. <laughs> hey, you didn't say which Gretzky, though. If you mean Brent Gretzky, then you're probably right. You're probably right. Guess who has more points than Brett Gretzky in the in the NHL? That's right, it's Ryan Reeves. Now here comes another face off. This one in the offensive zone for Tampa, but the Rangers win it. On the right side of their goaltender. Are we going to see a drop pass here? That's probably the move. Yes, sir. Two drop passes, actually. The Rangers start moving the puck around. Ooh, we are swinging our sticks. That was a little dangerous. But the Bolts have it again. Oh, that was looking like a huge one-timer. Great interception. Fantastic interception. And Adam Fox is going to get hit. But they're going to get the puck out. That's all you need right now. Game 7. Just survive that ship. And just get to the next one. Leafs in two. <laughs> Jesus. 
Jake Truba going to the penalty box. Hey, bud. Interference interferes with your team's ability to win the game. Yeah, Fox is also 24. You're right. That's a very young decor. Full of really good players. Yeah. Haven't seen a three-peat since uh, the Islanders. That's right. It's been a while. Oh, nice poke, but he couldn't control it. He broke up the... Oh, somehow that's on side. Not sure about that one. That's a huge save. Oh, almost over the glass again. But almost don't count. Tampa Bay. Looking to get their power plate set up. They can't quite do it, though. It's grabbed again by the blue shirts and fired down the ice. They complete the kill. Oh, oh, nice stick lift, but they still fight through it. Here come the Bolts. Huge chance. Great save by Igor Shosturkin. And we're going back up the ice. Alexi Lafreniere cuts inside. Goes for the backhand. Or er, Vasilevsky stops it. Ends up back with Lafreniere with a shot. And he's stopped. Islanders four straight titles is also their only one in franchise history. That's a fact. I hate that the Flames got rid of Fox. Stupid move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Rangers are built off of other people being fucking stupid. Fox being let go by the Flames. And um, Mika Zibanejad being gifted to them by the Ottawa Senators. Man, Sens really farmed that one. Fox forced the, his way out of it. Nah, no, he didn't. He's restricted. He was restricted. They didn't have to get. They they could have played hardball with him, or they could have got more. It's also, you know, he might have forced his uh, way out or quote-unquote force his way out because of some things the Flames were doing. So it all comes back to the Flames regardless. I really hope Pointer comes back. He probably will at some point in this series. He's doubtful for game one, but we're expecting him back at some point. And I feel like if this gets to game seven like this, that we're definitely going to see it. Oh, wow. That's crazy how I just just press two buttons and you're gone. Thanks, bot. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. 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 Plays also gave away Brett Hall. <laughs> Elite Tinder. That's funny. That's a good face-off. Win. And they're going to turn it over in the neutral zone. That's a great pass. Up the ice. Across. And he can't get the shot off because he went for the toe drag. And now he has to skate back to the bench. So Tampa with an odd man rush here by default. As the Ranger is changing, but they can't take advantage of it. That would have been a huge turning point in this game seven. As that is hit again on the side wall. Game seven epic. Yeah, this series has been great. The Rangers had a 3 1 lead. And then Vasilevsky said, enough of that shit. He's been basically unbeatable 
for three straight games, and here we are. Stop toe dragging in front of the defender. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The AIs, man, they love their toe drags. I think they will win. I think Tampa should, probably should win this series. If we're keeping it a whole stack. They've looked so good in this playoff. But at the same time, man, I really want the Rangers to win. Like my 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 heart says go Rangers, but the the Bolts should win this series. Shit, I heard a I heard an announcement from the PA talking about some free hamburgers. I'm here for the free hamburgers. In New York too, that must be some good shit. Rangers are playing really good right now. Man, Rangers are kind of riding Shesterkin. They're kind of riding Shesterkin. Like, they're playing well, but... Shesterkin is a huge part of why they're winning games. And when you face a team that is as high-powered offensively as the Lightning are, Shesterkin might not be enough. Oh, the rebound goes in. The bottle goes flying. The net is spinning. It is a whole fucking yard sale out here. And Nikita Koo Sharab is going to score and tie the game for the Bolts. 1-1 in game seven. As the building was turned upside down for that one. I wish we saw the in-net cam replay. That thing went spinning. That thing went everywhere. Here comes Benajad. Moves it back to the point. Now Adam Fox to the middle. Huge toe save. Fantastic stop by Andre Vasilevsky. They're going to get the puck back, though. They're still fighting. They're going to the middle of the ice. That one-timer goes wide. Off the corner. The Rangers able to retrieve it, though. Bodies are falling everywhere. And Tampa finally clears their lines. The net was loose. Indeed it was. Beautiful. Now we have a tie game in game seven. It's been a fantastic series. I almost tanked the entire stream, but chat saved it. And here we are. Shoot that. Okay, huge blocker save. How controversial would it be if um, the Rangers win the quick sim that I accidentally pulled off? And then they come back and lose the slow sip. Uh, that'd be pretty controversial. I'm just saying. I feel like Chesterkin's carrying the range. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Maybe not entirely carrying, but he's a huge part of what they're doing. Oh, my God. That's going to hit the post. That was such a hard one-timer. You don't beat Vasilevsky too often. When you do, that thing goes away from the goal. That sucks. Speaking of which, huge chance right there, but that's a whiff. Two massive chances that beat the goal. To oh, beat the goalie but couldn't end up in the net. We almost had one just slide in. That was very close. Jobly done by the Ranger defenders here as they move this puck up the ice. Here comes Lafreniere. Across the ice, and that puck can't get through. Vassy almost keeping up with that pass, but I'm just saying, bro, that shit was close. That's the last well, yeah, of course, you have you have to have your goaltender be a uh, part of your team. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a good goalie. I'm saying the Rangers are being more heavily carried by Shesterkin, whereas Tampa just flat-out outclass the Panthers. Yeah, why are we even talking about the Habs? Irrelevant-ass team right now in this conversation. 
as is terrible. Shesterkin is closing the gap on Vasilevsky. The only thing Shesterkin needs to really, like, be at the same level as Vasilevsky is to have, like, complete shutdown performances in the playoffs. Oh, my God. No fucking way. No fucking way. Ryan Reeves. Muffin gets through Andre Vasilevsky. He scores in game six and seven. Ryan Reeves, the sniper. Unbelievable. Now it's 2 1 Rangers in the third period. If y'all lose game seven on a Ryan Reeves goal. Ryan Reeves for God's might. <laughs> Imagine. Now Tampa is going to go full offense here. Running short on time. In game seven, back at the point. Down to the corner. They're being patient with their puck movement. Probably because they don't want to turn it over and let the Rangers kill some clock. Which is exactly what they just did. Last minute of play in the third period of game seven. 2 1 lead for the Rangers off Ryan Reeves' shot. Dangle to the right side. Turnover. They don't forecheck hard enough. And the Rangers are allowed to kill some extra time off the clock. It gets to center ice, but Tampa regroups and rebuilds an offense. Oh, that is going to be a loose puck, but they do get it back. Terrible turnover from the point. And the Rangers take it through center ice. They turn it over. They had a chance to end the game. Here comes Braden Point. Deeks inside, goes to the left. Huge save, Shastarkin. And here we are. The biggest face-off of the season for both of these teams. Tampa's been dominant at the dot all series, but this time... Oh, Braden Point got it back, but he got gloved by Sir Igor. The Igor chance would be ringing through the entire state of New York right now. Across the ice it goes. A few ticks left. And the Rangers win game seven. Unbelievable. On a Ryan Reeves muffin. Their most controversial addition to their team wins it in the end. And shout out to Keandre Miller with the first goal as well. Incredible. They gave the trophy to Keandre. Okay, whatever. And the sniper, Ryan Reeves. <laughs> Holy camera, bud. That was great. Thank y'all so much for watching the stream. Here's the game winner. Series winner. Back-to-back -back game goal score, Ryan Reeves. Thank y'all so much for coming out. Obviously, we can't look at the final stats for the series because I, <laughs> I'm still mad at what I did. But we still had fun, right? We still had a good time. And I appreciate y'all 
for stopping by. Game one begins tonight at Madison Square Garden, 8 p.m. Eastern. It is going to be a good one. Thank y'all so much. Leave a like if you enjoyed the stream. And if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing if you want to see some more. We'll do the same type of simulation for the Stanley Cup Finals, of course. So if you want to help your boy on the road to 20K, go ahead and do that. But that's going to be it for me, man. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for showing up, showing out for this stream once again. Y'all be safe. Take care of each other and have a wonderful rest of your evening. I'm going to sign off right now, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.